5150 show The 5150 show The 5150 show The 5150 show One. 
Stop being so sensitive, bitch. You ain't no bad bitch for real. I seen you before you got your ass and titty done. Is Trina there?
Katrina. World, are y'all ready? You know what's up when this sound begin. We about to go in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. seen no show like this Cracking jokes and singing we won't miss 5150 up in this bitch yeah. You ain't never seen a show like this Ghetto folks gonna be all in their bliss Trying to make you laugh until you piss yeah. You ain't never seen no show like this, yeah. 5150, 2022, it's on. I'm about to say some real things. Rip the mic and bring the pain. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this. Fifty one fifty live on the air. Fifty one fifty, we don't care. Fifty one fifty, what up over there? All over the nation. With Riz here. That's what's up. I'm in my chair. I am. Oh, hold on. I forgot to be getting on me with my lips, Johnny. Let me see. No, I wiped it off. I am Corey Holcomb. This is Darlene O. G. Ortiz. Hello. People coming a little later on. We just wanted to start the show. You did what I said. Oh, she's straight now. <laughs> Thank you, <mama. laughs> she got the stuff. Anyway, yeah, what up? Crazy, crazy day. What's up, brother? Crazy. Hey, man, look, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I, I don't know about everybody who, first of all, all the people in Baltimore, I know traffic was crazy out there today. Um, we want to send our blessings out to anybody who was on that bridge. Ooh, Lord Jesus, yeah. I don't know if y'all know anything six about. Workers. I think it was six yeah, it's like that's awful, man. That ragged ass boat ran into the bridge. They, they that boat was packed. I, I don't not sure. I think they say it was on its way to Sri Lanka or something like that. So they be trying to stack everything they can on that long ass trip across the ocean, and that boat ran into that thing like. Boom, and that bridge, that bridge, did you see how that bridge collapsed? I can't listen. That was sad. Like, just thinking that boat could do that to that bridge that hold all them cars all the time, man. That's kind of scary. It makes you think, right, that maybe it's the, but they did say that there's a big structure problem in, in, in the United States, that they're not keeping up on stuff, so who knows? Do you, you see, I'm a, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Maybe it wasn't no accident. It was just made to look like an accident. Well, they was like, we finna fix this whole bridge. Oh, because now they're forced to bring, you know what, good, there you go. It's, it's bridges and overpass in these cities that's been up for so long. Like I remember at one time they were saying in St. Louis, like these freeways shouldn't even be up no more. Right. But they've been fixing them. Outdated. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know what I'm saying? Things fall apart, man. I don't, I don't do the whole, Oh, it was an accident thing. Everything on TV. I, I don't believe 9-11 was an accident. I'm just saying. I don't know. I can't say what happened, but I don't believe things are accident. I don't believe, I don't even believe when people's houses get raided, it wasn't set up. All right, we coming tomorrow. Get everything straight. We're going to make it look they like do, this. They let, your lawyer know. <laughs> they let your lawyers know because they say not to. What is that, D? A energy drink that I make myself. Oh, my God. What is that, a little fly? Probably oh, a little extra God, protein, darling. but they, 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 they get a hold of your lawyer uh, in cases like that. If you're talking about that in, or, and tell them this is what you're not supposed to do. Like, don't get rid of anything. Isn't that funny? Because that's they, they ain't going to give you no heads up. Them the feds. The fed, I ain't never heard of the feds giving nobody a heads up. Motherfuckers be sleep. They come in the morning. Will you talk about conspiracy theories? You want to hear a couple of them floating around with that? What? What happened? That 
one of the Kardashians stopped following, and I think it's the big one, Kim, stopped following him. Oh. Who, who are we talking about? Diddy. Okay. Uh, uh, stopped following him like 24 hours before that on Instagram. Why? The day before, like 24 hours before. So people are like, oh, that was the key. That was the warning signal. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. They got, they got a whole <laughs> bunch of Because that's things. what I'm saying. That's why I said it's one of them. Yeah, I don't know and about. That, that was the alert to him. I don't know about anything that's, 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 that is what it is. All I know is when I see stuff on TV, I don't be like, aha. I'll be like, no, okay, so how they playing this? Because old boy who ran Petto Island, they say that motherfucker alive. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, I know it's TV. It's for the people who believe what they hear and believe what they see. You know, it's it's TV. People watch TV. They be like, "Oh, that's what happened." I be like, "Shit, no. I ain't fucking with none okay. of that." And if none, and if anybody is, I don't know. I don't know how many people that you know were, have ever been messed with by the uh, government. So. Oh yeah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> we got we at the Coin Academy. This is a place where the government has basically. <laughs> I mean, I know. I, man, look. Let me tell you something about this whole government thing. I keep my nose clean, government, but I don't want y'all raiding me. You ain't gonna find nothing. I ain't got nothing going on. Mm -hmm. All them guns is registered. So if I ain't supposed to have them, I bought them. They said it's low. Is they what? Not you? Mine? It's up? Okay. You did? Okay. It said it's low. No, I'm just saying because we've been through it, something like that. They didn't raid us, but you know when they were, they had them under a microscope during that cop killer stuff. Right. I was just going to say when he had the cop killer yeah, song. So I that know was, they was like, They pulled his oh. daughter out. Same thing. They pulled her out of school in elementary school trying to ask who her. who out of school? Ice's daughter when she was younger, not the little one, the the grown daughter. He's and they was asking questions. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm I don't want no more drama. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I am Corey Holcomb. I am telling you, I'm tired of drama. I ain't had nothing but drama. People call me a hypocrite. How you had nothing but drama? What do you mean? Where? <laughs> now you don't even understand what's I happening guess I in my life. One day I'm a. One day I'm going to tell everything that's happening in my life. And then people going to be like, that's why he did that. The whole daughter bitch thing. Everything. It's cold shit happening to a nigga. It's just everybody think niggas the villains. Niggas ain't the villains. I don't go around Thanks, fucking with people. But I'm telling you, it's people who I know that's mad because they finished in your life. Like when you get rid of a motherfucker... I'm telling you, most motherfuckers ain't just finna be like, all right, fuck it, I'm gone. Motherfuckers coming for your ass. I got motherfuckers coming at me, and most of them are females. Oh, well, that's terrible. I'm talking about, what happened? Did they do that? Mm. You lousy bitch. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Females coming at me, man. Them motherfuckers. I be watching them, them shows where they put hits on niggas. Dog, I'm telling you, man, I'm scared. I'll be at the crib sleeping with that goddamn. There's so many of those shows, though. They're snapped. The one snapped. Snapped. Ooh. I seen the one episode where the lady tried to put a hit on her husband, but she got the amateur hit. And coincidentally. Oh, she came back and tried to act it off. The, the one dude the knew her husband. And they faked it out. They got they showed her <laughs> they the picture. They faked it. Yeah, it did. They looked, they showed, he acted like he was dead. Yes. And the police was up with it. She started to cry before he even told her. She was like, what, what? And then before he even said that he was dead, she was like, oh, she already put on the act. She was like ahead of them. But D, this, what, this is what I'm saying. It's like it's nobody so believes the women are the villains. Shit, they think the guys are the villains because the motherfucker fuck women. That's why your woman hates you, because you fuck women, and you never was able to stop, because you're not supposed to, to be honest. I, we'll get into that later yeah, on. Yeah, I was going to say, I, me, I'm di I, I know enough crazy women, including my mother, my own mom, and saw how she kind of rolled with, uh, you know, against men, that I'm, I, I will believe a man first, and especially after I had a son, I'm like, oh no, hold on. Hold on, I got. To, I don't want to argue with I a know woman. Too many crazy. No more. Females. I fell for that bait recently, and I've been trying to not, you know, argue back with women. When women get upset with you, it is my opinion they will do whatever to win the argument, including especially lie on you. There's a lot of psychos. I can argue there. with a motherfucker nigga all day. I ain't even allowing the nigga. I'm gonna say fuck you, nigga. Woo woo woo. Man, I've been arguing with motherfucking women, and I'm kicking they ass, but then they lie. They try to smear who I am, but I got receipts 
to who I am. I want to say to the bitch, in my life, or used to be in my life, that's playing on people's phones, sending pictures to everybody. You think, bitch, I hired people to track that. We know it's you, bitch. I'm going to show the authorized, because I'm a civilian now. Bitch, I ain't no motherfucking nigga. I'm tricking. I'm telling on you, bitch. Playing on my motherfucking phone and my people's phone, mad because you finished. And fake this, face, bitch. And this is an adult woman. This that's, is a bitch with a fake so, face. Super scary, though. It's like adult woman. You would think, you know, ain't not in junior high. He's this is a, a bitch with a fake face. Ass man, and he's got some people playing games. Playing like that. on the phone. See, this is what happened, D. I'm going to tell you something. Remember when we was on this motherfucker and we was like, so what if we is fucking around yeah. all that shit? Yeah. That saved you. What do you mean? When we said that, it made them be like, oh, fuck it. We'll go after somebody else. Because, like, we ain't give a fuck. You get what I'm saying? I, mean, I guess, yeah. I was like, because well, we I act- thought you meant with that particular person. Because I was going to say. No, it's a few of them. They formed an alliance. Okay. But, but they he- don't talk shit about you as much because of what we said. Uh, and, it, you know what I'm saying? It threw it off. They was like, oh, ain't nowhere to go with it. So but, they attack but- other people that they may or may not know about. And it's like, right now, my life is crazy. Well, here's, my, here's what, where, what I'm really kind of thrown off about. How can somebody be, are you talking about personal, like a woman that's dealing with you or just outside source? Because some, let me just say, because somebody that's dealing with you, you, sp- you speak on everything that you kind of are about, like who you are, how you about, how are they going to be upset at? No, it's not, it's not all, but it's nobody I'm dealing with. Oh, but that's the well, problem. That's oh, it's people good. who I. Well, first of all, okay, let's good. just talk about I the one bitch. A, okay, I thought let's talk a, about the bitch Tasha K. The bitch motherfucker said I started some shit with her. Bitch, when we had interviewed R. Kelly on the show, R. Kelly mentioned your name, and then the next thing I know, you had a video with me and Eric Spears talking about we pedophile. What? You call me a pedophile bitch what the fuck is that you don't call niggas pedophiles bitch mm. that's some real fucked up allegations to put out here on a nigga who like to walk the streets like he want to to call him a pedophile but that's what bitches do bitches don't give a fuck about foul ball they are going to try to smear you in front of people and make it look like you ain't shit motherfucker Cause the hoe out here talking about, oh, he said my name first. No, bitch, I didn't say your ugly ass name first. I don't even fuck with bitches like you, bitch. Yo, pre- the prerequisites of what I'm doing nowadays, you don't fit the description. You, I, I fuck with bitches like you back when I was on E. When I was a popped off ass nigga, I fuck a bitch like Tasha K. But now, bitch, I, I wouldn't piss on you if you was on fire in the street. Then you go around lying. Oh, Corey, according to his ex-wife, he like toys or whatever in his ass. What the <laughs> fuck? That what the funny. fuck? I know First of all, let me say it. this again. Whatever I do with a bitch on me, I stand on it. Whatever I do with a woman in bed, that's on me. I stand on it. But bitch, you lying. And you're not going to be able to maneuver around this motherfucking country like you want to until these papers get put in your hand. Because they coming, bitch. Lying on a motherfucking nigga asshole. That's just, but that's just one bitch I'm battling with. I'm at war with the bitches that ain't shit. I can't even say this one bitch name yet. But when I can, mm. this a this a transformer bitch. This bitch done transformed her whole face. I knew this bitch at one time in my life. I saw the bitch recently. I was like, who is that? Who is that? You know these bitches. Yeah, okay, I ain't trying to talk shit about her. Our sister Serena, Serena Williams. We root for Serena. Kick them bitches' ass, Serena. But lately, we've seen our sister face, and we like. What the fuck did she do? Work, mm. all this shit pulled back. And I be like, why sisters do that to their face? I'm not talking shit about you, Serena. 
I root for you. I do too. I love you. I root for you. I, in fact, I could even go this far. I love you. I sat up there when you was beating them bitches' ass on the tennis court. You had the whole urban America like, yeah. So it's love, but I don't know why bitches fuck with their face. This fuck with the face bitch is after me. Playing on people's phone and think we ain't gonna be able to prove it. And I know you watching, hey, fuck with your face, bitch. I don't know what the fuck you did to your face. Soon as bitches get some money, they start fucking with their face, ass, and titties. I can see the ass and titties. If you want some titties that's nice, or if you want an ass that's nice, there's some niggas out here who like that. A lot of niggas out here mm -hmm. who like that. But this pulled back face shit, like on the Muppets. They did this on the Muppets when we was kids. It was a show called The Muppet Show. It was a bitch whose face was pulled back back then. All these bitches got pulled back faces now. Why you mad at me? You lost, bitch. You lost. You know you lost. Why you lose? You was trying to be slick. You got caught lying. I ain't saying your name yet because it's shit going on. But bitch, stop playing on people's phone. Don't nobody care what pictures you find of somebody. And if you put some pictures out your phone, I got pictures too, bitch. You oh want to play the picture game? Play the picture game then, bitch. Oh my God. <laughs> Who is this? Since my man said they running around looking oh, like that is so messed Michael up. Jackson. In the chat room, everybody's Oh, they got that picture up. Wait, though, Look at my beautiful sister over here. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that, man? Mm. My eyes is going bad. Oh, what? Finally, he admits that. I ain't going to lie. My eyes is going bad. I already told you. I can see it. Wait. Oh, you know, I just realized who the fuck that was over there. Bro. Oh. What's up, Joe? <laughs> you all right, baby? <laughs> I'm good, man. Damn. Um, they are putting up all these names now in the chat of like women who? that are have the done. people that fuck no, their face yes, up. Yes, and they're thinking it's that's terrible. Can you imagine a bitch that you been knowing for 20 plus years, then you don't see her for a couple of years, and the bitch come back with a face like, what's the name of that movie? They took her face off. Mm. I want to take face off. Mm. This bitch, I saw this bitch, I said, God damn! What the fuck happened to your face? I got a face off bitch at war with me. One of them bitches, if you would do that to your face, mm. you don't give a fuck about nothing. I'm scared. But she don't look like that Yeah, now, the mask, right? for real. Wasn't that like... When it turned into Loki. That's the name of that shit. The one with Cher? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's old school for real. Yeah. Yeah. That's old school for real. Uh, She doesn't look like that now, though. I think she was fiddling with that, didn't she? Didn't she change? I think she did that like two years ago, and now she's back to somewhat. I mean, no, 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 no. You can't reverse that shit when you get your face pulled back like that. What, they going to let it go? <laughs> like a little balloon or something. <sighs> I could have swore I just saw her recently. She didn't look that bad. But that that's pretty drastic right there. I'm finna embarrass myself. That's not cocaine, is it? Oh, I was just finna say, cocaine is light skinned, bald head. You, my complexion, bald head. <laughs> huh? I met you before. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's what I'm saying. I was like, whenever, yeah. With, yeah. Well, is, is he ready? Yeah, hell yeah. Let him know. Come on. I want to I want to holler at the brother. Cuz he got things going on. But back on these motherfucking war with women. I'm gonna tell you brothers, <laughs> you can't win the war with women. They will do and say whatever to make sure they try to make you look stupid even though they ain't making nobody look stupid but they self once they get to line. Come with facts on niggas. Come with facts. Don't lie on people. Lying on, not, not just men, they, they, lie, they lie on women you associated with. That's the point I was trying to make. Darlene, you dodged a bullet. You <laughs> dodged a bullet. Woo! <laughs> Them hoes was finna start their campaign on you. Then they, what's up, baby? You all right? Hey, man, come on down here, man. We got to talk to my brother. 
But I'm just saying, all y'all motherfucking hoes that's after me, fuck you. <laughs> on to a lighter note. My brother in the house, y'all seen him on an episode before. What's up, baby? Uh-huh. Come have a seat, baby. Man, cocaine in the motherfucking house. Yep. I Dirty. fucked up. I gave him that little weak ass shake. He squeezed the shit with a man grip. <laughs> That's how you supposed to do it. Good. What's up, baby? You good? I'm here. I'm good. Look, man, let me tell y'all something, man. At the Coin Academy, things be happening. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Motherfuckers went out. And you did you did you had some work done yesterday, right? Yeah. You, you getting it in. Because you press. got an album, right? Yeah, on the press Talk run. to us, man. Press, First okay. of all, if you don't know, this is the brother Cocaine. Well, 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 well featured artist on a lot of shit. If you don't know, do your research. You mm-hmm. dig what I'm saying? He was on the show last time with my man Sugar Free. That's and right. now he back. What's up, brother? Talk to us about your project. It's Just a, let the people know what's yeah. going on. It's a three album trilogy. Three oh. album trilogy. Wow. Yeah, and we got everybody from Ice Cube to Corrupt on there. That's what's you know up. What I mean, so we did basically like a live band album. A live band live album. Band. Hey man, people finna start back getting on that because people who come out and spend money, they like to hear music like that. Yeah, and, 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 and it needs to get back that. You know what yeah. I mean? Music with substance. Yeah, you music with I mean? substance. Storytelling. Well, right. be, well, well put, brother. Mm-hmm. So we out here doing the press run. It's been nice. The, uh, the project just came out. But, you know, in order to get this project, you gotta go to my personal site. Because y'all see what's going on with the streaming and everything. So you just get it directly, like is yeah, that direct wow, marketing look at for that. me? You know, we, can, you know what, man? What what the man is saying? See, they got this thing out here. They got different ways you can register music, but it all got to be registered through them people, and all the boys and girls who really matter. You know what I'm talking about? They got it on the internet where. It go through them people. They got it where they can get a piece of your uh, uh, your, uh, your thing. Mm-hmm. But my man Cocaine is saying, look, fuck with him directly. Because that's what I'm going to do when I put mine out. Fuck with me. Yeah. Let me eat. <laughs> Not them people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? How do they find it, Cocaine? When you, well, you they know? can find it. Here's the cassette. Oh, look at that. He got a oh, he I'm going to send cassette. y'all something. We okay. got CDs. We got merch. Everything. And what I've been doing over the years is kind of winging myself off the social fuckery plat. So the social form. fuckery platform. Yeah, so we had our we had our thing for like 17 years and people was laughing at me. But we picked up on what Prince was saying at Napster, you know, prior to this social network. So we kind of build up, not kind of, we build up a, a substantial amount of people, you know, on our meta database and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And we we our range is over a million people right now. So if I'm selling a record and this is 37 songs on the project and I sell it at 100 bu- bucks a pop and I'm estimated to do 30,000, do the math. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it's about. It's about controlling your autonomy. You see all these major record labels is laying people off because the gig is up because what people don't understand is that, you know, the, the record major people put out a propaganda thing to say, oh, we lost money. But all the while, there was brokering stuff on these streaming companies. And this is the biggest, biggest part of them making money ever in the industry. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, we got to be able to take the autonomy and control back. And that's what we did with this particular project. It's under my label. I'm my own distributor. Um, everything else that the major do, I do. You betting on you know yourself. I mean? You want to be. You want to be the business mm. and not get coins out the business. You know what right. I'm saying? It's like you, <clears throat> for people who who support artists. You know what I'm saying? You'll be amazed at what they do. Um, the young brother, um, Country Wayne, just did a show in Chicago, right? Right. And what he did, he had it set up where if you buy a certain amount of tickets, he got. You also get to meet and greet him in the back. Right. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I think it's so clever that people go out and find ways to get close to their fans because if somebody will pay this amount to come see you, mm-hmm. then they deserve to come meet you and shake your hand afterwards. Absolutely. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. So it's, it's creative ways to make money out here. You know what I'm saying? And plus Instead it's, of giving it all to them people. Yeah, plus it's good for the economy. Huh? Yeah, you open it up like this, and we are we have CDs too, because we got to get back to where 
Hold on, good. what is this? Watch, watch. Check this out. Uh, <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> See, I, hold on. See, no, you got to put like, that up there. He got the USB drive. Look, everybody was already talking that. shit. A cassette. A cassette. Bro. They was like a cassette. Look, Look at that. Uh, that is cold as hell. Yeah. Damn. So is that, that something that people do? If I do that, would that be stealing off you? <laughs> oh, not at all, man. Because I'm going to put my comedy special on something no, like that. But, but, dog, that's cold. I ain't yeah, this is cold. That. This is cold right here. And plus, we got CDs and all that stuff. It's right here. And plus, when you open it up, it has all the uh, information on here. And it's a beautiful thing because, you know, whether you do CDs or whether you do them, it's still bringing back to things that are tangible. Right. You right. can't sign an autograph on a digital copy. That's true. Say that again. You can't sign an autograph so on you can't a digital sign copy. sign an autograph on a digital copy. Nah. That's, that's deep. So, so look, like y'all motherfuckers, yeah. look. Yeah. See, my, my yeah. audience is stupid. They was so like, the fuck this nigga got a yeah. consent. <laughs> hey, man, get niggas they propers when you see something. That's right. That's different, nigga. That's cold. That's cold, Thanks, okay? Chad. Thanks, Chad. <laughs> Who? Well, I'm putting, I'm, putting, I'm putting a life story on my father, uh, Jerry Buddy Long from Motown. Some of his works include Just My Imagination, Papa Was a Rolling Stone. Um, oh, everybody know them four songs. Four Tops. Though. Still Waters, Still and wa um, he was the the guy over there, you know, composer, writer. So I come from a musical background. That's you know great. I love man. it, man. Yes. And I'm putting his life story together right now. Cocaine, look, nice. man, let me tell you something, for real. Like, it was already when they said you was coming, I'm like, okay, that's cocaine. All right, so we gonna fuck with mm -hmm. him. But look, that right there, yeah. I ain't never seen that. I yeah. ain't never seen that before. I love it. Mm -hmm. I I fucking love it. That's and so see, clever. See what you when you showed this cassette yeah. tape, I was like, oh. oh. He didn't know. Yeah. He didn't know. Yeah. Damn, my nigga pull out the USB. Yeah. Like you said. Get the fuck out of here. That's I dope. Mean, how do they how do they buy it? How do they yeah. how do they we, buy it? We can go to my site at www.bude is in Eric B O Y music.com. That's spelled buddyboymusic.com. Uh you can also follow me at uh cocaine. K O K A N E underscore O G underscore and tap right in. Now I'm gonna play the devil's advocate real quick, please. Now I do use the streaming, of course, oh, of course, sure, yeah, to put out singles. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna come to my digital trap house, my my own now, stuff, and plus we have the, digital all too. The song, all the trilogies on here, I like the everything. Thing, everything. Wow, thirty-seven. We got Cube hey man, on there. Please, I'm gonna ask a lot you. Of people I'm gonna ask you. Just like I asked you with anybody who I mess with. Mm. Hey, man, if, if, support my people, man. Support my people. It's a lot of people going to watch this, cocaine. I right want just. you to let me know in a couple of weeks, did it make a difference in what you do? I think it's oh. going to make a difference. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. That, that, I love I'm it, grateful. man. That idea is brilliant. I yeah. fucking love yeah. it. And plus, we got, we got um, vinyl, too. So that way, like the old school records, when you used to look at Parliament and Slave, you'll be able to see everything. So what we did is took an imprint from the 80s and bring it back to the future with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. on digital, you can't really see anything, uh -uh. right? Unless uh -uh. You Somebody say, what well, Phil Joy say, don't hate, innovate. That's right. What, what'd right. you say? Oh, yeah. Nah. Cause go, look, go, nah, Mac, go Mac wanted me to motherfucking bring up all that, but you've worked with look, Puffy. You've look, worked with Puffy, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, I worked with him. He, he, he uh, flew me out to you know Miami. Yeah, and, when he uh, got asked, this nigga did he party? Yeah, nah, nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Listen to me, this is real shit. So I, when I went out there, peace, you know, it was cool, and I worked pretty quick. So he left for a little bit, then came back to the studio. I had the song talk done. Sometimes I feel like I'm lonely. He was like, "Oh, B, that's hard." Boo, boo, boo. I like oh, cause he love above the law. Uh, I love NWA, cocaine. So he took me out. He said, we're going out tonight, right? So I was like, oh, shit, that's Puff Daddy. Yeah. Right, you went out yeah. with him. Yeah, so we hopped. We ain't going to judge yet. This story got to yeah, end. Yeah. Don't jump yeah. ahead. That's Go it. ahead, cocaine. So I <laughs> hopped in the whip, whip with him, you know. You hopped in the whip with him? Yeah. All right. The, 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 the brother pulled out. No bullshit. No! Wait, just okay, go ahead, my bad. I'm fucking with you. The brother pulled out. These things, and it was these pills. It was an ashtray full of ecstasy. He said, you want one? I said, nah, man, I don't do that. I don't smoke weed. So we go to this club, popping club, and we go to the 
the first floor. It's cool. It's popping. Everybody's hey man, getting on, doing their thing, right? Doing yeah. they, but then we go to like second floor, and it's kind of different. But then we go to the third floor, the upper room. Not the third floor. The yeah. upper room. I'm fucking fuck with you. Look, I look, to, I look Give to, it the, to us, man. I look to the right. Men's kiss this man. Men's kissing. Nigga, I looked at that puppy like, nigga, where you got me at, homie? Nigga, where you got me at, homie? Right. He knew I was uncomfortable, so he dropped me off immediately. Okay. And that was that, and I left oh, the next you day. But that's respect. Okay. Yeah, that was. He, he still yeah. tried to see what's up, but yeah, he realized. Nah. So actually, Puffy a G to yeah. try to even pull that with you in any way. Nah, I wasn't. Yeah, I'm, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> He's like, uh-uh. He <laughs> did man. not offer okay. to take you shopping, though. No, no, no. I think the nigga did, did try to bait me in, though, but I'm like, come on, man. He was trying to see how you was moving, because yeah. right, all you got to do most of the time is just throw the alley-oop to most of these motherfuckers, like Lil Rail. They be like, how do it? Yeah, because at that time, P, um, you know, it was cracking. I was on the last meal, uh, Dr. Dre Chronic 2001. So he was, you know, besides the brother law, he was like, man, huh? you cool. Huh? Huh? Yeah. And right. this is what year was that? Wait a minute. This was uh, in 2000. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That was yeah, like, that was my puppy story. Okay, That's, hey, but go. that puppy story deep, because mm-hmm. let me tell you yeah. something. I didn't heard a lot of them just like that. Yeah. They I didn't try go. to throw alley oops yeah. at niggas. First of all, I'm too scared to get in a car with any nigga yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I was at my motherfucking uncle's funeral. I was like, hey, I ain't get in the car with y'all. I'll follow you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll follow you. Yeah. I'll be too scared to get in cars with guys, but yeah. especially it's strangers. A, a, yeah. It was an experience, you know, to do music, but then it, it was uncomfortable. But you mm. know what, though? How about mm. this? This real talk, man. This journey we take to get what we chasing, we gonna run across the lions and tigers and bears. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? It, Absolutely. it ain't no way around it. It's Absolutely. just how we handle it. We gonna handle it yeah. like men. All the real players, it ain't gotta be said. We know what's up. Yeah, real talk, real yeah? talk. We but um Different ahead. strokes with different folks, you know? Yeah. Exactly, yeah. You different know? strokes with different folks. Look, In man, way. one more time, man, cause you know what I'm saying, I got another guest, but listen, cocaine, these people are gonna fuck with you. Will y'all please show this man the power of 5150? How they, if they, if somebody was going to try to purchase your music right now, one more time, tell them how to do it. It's at www.buddyboymusic.com. You spell it www.bud, E is in Eric, B-O-Y, music.com uh we got everything for you make sure you make a subscription to my account so we can always keep you current with the news feed and one last thing i want to say uh rest in peace easy e because today is the day that he transcended past oh, really? easy e yes oh wow who put us on right yeah. and you know what i'm saying that was a time in music yeah. where trust me yeah. everybody knew who you was if you was really in music because it wasn't a whole lot of albums dropping then, yeah. at that time. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So RIP, I never got a chance to meet the brother Easy. I met his son. You could tell us his son as soon as he started talking. <laughs> <laughs> if you know anything Strong about it. Change. He was they like, yo, I'm so and so. I was like, I, I could tell. I believe you right away. So, yeah, in the real way. Yeah, man. But we got right. everything for you. So you know look, I mean? we go, hey man, look, I'm finna, man, I'm gonna videotape myself purchasing it online. That's what I saw this dude do. Who mm-hmm. um who fuck with a lot of people? I can't forget his name from Philly. Who the big Don out of Philly? Uh, what's my man name? Tall dude. Anyway, he always videotape when he either going to store buy a book or somebody he right. know or whatever. Just to let you know I'm fucking uh-huh. with you. I'm a videotape right. me nice. fucking with you. Put it online, right. dog. One last thing. Plus, win. uh, me and Gary Snyder, Jr. from Parliament, we are uh, doing this P Funk G Funk tour coming mm. up. So. That'll be coming out soon. You'll be hearing about a lot of that. And that's different because, you know, G-Funk derives from P-Funk. And for us to be able to hook that up, man, and give people a live band show, that's where it's going. Mm-hmm. So that's when you up. hear the cocaine, Dr. Kokenstein. And you guys you, gonna have a live uh, band. Live band. Just that's like what's party. up. Yep. Man, like we going to mess with you, man. Cocaine, hold up, man. Oh, we had the little fake shaking fuck there, man. <laughs> I fuck with you, bro. I fuck with you for real, man. Oh, Respect oh, all day, man. Yes, man. Yep. I appreciate okay. Bet. Oh, he wants yours. He wants yours. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
No, I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna okay. send some stuff. You ain't gotta buy. I'll Bet him up. No, nah, but I want to do it because okay. he set it up. Yeah. I'm throwing the alley you. Yeah. Love, Love baby. Bang. My man, cocaine in the <laughs> house. You dig what I'm saying? Oh, I go look. <laughs> yeah, don't let him forget it. God damn it. <laughs> you got to tell him no. No, no. Except the feds was like, get your motherfucking ass over here. Let's do this before we put these handcuffs on. Oh, but anyway, God. I'm just talking. Anyway. <laughs> That's, oh, shoot, not take that. Take that, that for no. real. No, oh, no. Hey, man, look, man, we trying, to, we trying to make our show over here at the 5150 show something that's beautiful, something that's positive. Me stepping off into the wilderness, y'all, y'all gotta forgive me. I stepped off into the wilderness for a while, I'm done. I'm gonna always talk crazy if you come at me, but I'm just saying, I'm trying to do positive things, man, and don't act like I ain't been doing positive things, man. Mm. When, I had, when I had my man R. Kelly speaking on the show, I was just really trying to tell people about the RICO Act, because a lot of people don't know nothing about RICO. And then when you in jail for nothing, you're going to be like, oh, that's what Corey was talking about. Yeah, I'm just mm. trying to put y'all up on game. It's a cold world. Damn, I need something to drink. They got, can you help me? Could you hook me up? Yeah, anything. Whatever, goddammit. I'm trying not to drink no alcohol, especially with my brother on the show. My brother in the house, I'm about to, I'm about to bring him up here. Y'all already know, this is a brother I met um, when I used to hang around with my good brother, Zo, the voice of reason. Mm -hmm. One day I went to Zo's show, I ran across this brother, and ever since I met him, I have been highly impressed. Why am I highly impressed? Because as I watch people, because I watch people, he does what he says and says what he does. People like that, it's almost like kryptonite. Mm -hmm. I bow before people like that. I'm like, oh, man. Anyway, no further ado. Come on over here, my good brother. Rizza Islam in the house. <laughs> Rizzo in the house, y'all. We, we back. That's what's up. 51. Good 50, to we see you. Back in the building. Right. Good to see you, brother Rizzo. <laughs> um, now listen. Yes. I sir. met up with Rizzo a couple of weeks ago, and Rizzo, his thing he doing now, <laughs> I will testify. It changes things. Mm. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm gonna let him parlay it in how he wants to parlay it in. <laughs> But my good brother, if he says something, first of all, can't nobody give me nothing that I'm going to put in my mouth. <laughs> Come on, Corey. Uh, what? I'm just saying. <laughs> it would take somebody, like I say, who means what they say and say what they mean. My brother Rizzo Islam, he got things going on. I'm going to let him talk about it because I know he know how to talk. What's up? Why? <laughs> my brother, my brother. What first up, off? man? 5150, we are back. We are back. Good to see everybody. I met up with my brother. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Rizzo, what's it's up? It's some beautiful stuff, man. We're going we to get into a lot of conversation. But, uh, first thing, shout out to the 5150. A lot of my fam from here have been supporting greatly. Your brother has come up with his own brain supplement. Excellent. That we need. And the primary reason why I established this again, you know, like you said, Corey, a lot of talkers. We have a lot of people that talk. Mm -hmm. Talking is one thing, educating is one thing, that's fine, that's good. But at the same time, I got tired of just doing that because after five billion people took that poison that they took, what I knew was that down the line, people are going to have a lot of health issues. And of course, we can go into that at another time. But I said I have to come up with something that is going to help people physically. Right, because you've been given information mm -hmm. and people will listen to you because that normally the information, look man, the information that you give, you know it's on point because you got people who are in high places not liking the fact that you are talking. That lets Absolutely. you know something. Absolutely, well to, to, to add to your point, the FDA has already knocked on our door. Really? Just so you know, after, I believe, after you received your bottle, FDA recently sent a request to come to the warehouse to see what it is that we have. Wow, <laughs> Just are you serious? Let you know, I'm very serious. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh my God. Absolutely, yeah. 
But again, we expected it. I didn't expect it so soon. I was just going to say that yeah. because FDA really doesn't check everybody, and especially in that time, just to let you know. So that's interesting. Okay. Well, you know, uh, Brother Rizza is uh, on that. When you say Rizza Islam name, I bring Rizza Islam on my show, there's risk involved with that. But I'm willing to take the risk because I believe in myself. Mm -hmm. I believe in righteousness. And there's just some things I'm willing to throw out there for certain situations, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. For the good, I'm going to take the risk. So Rizza is here. And he has a home here when he's got something he want to say. Now, I know they... We we on a platform to get snatched for nothing. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. They ain't got to justify nothing. Oh my God. But mm -hmm. I believe my brother has got something that's for the greater good. Absolutely. And you know, I'll, let me ask you this, Corey. Just for just for those who are watching, you took it yourself. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Um, From what you remember, I'll put it to you like this. You told me to take them at night. Mm -hmm. I don't take them at night no more. <laughs> I take them as I get up because uh, for whatever reason, it gives me energy. Mm -hmm. It gives me energy. Mm -hmm. So uh, normally I just go right to bed at the Netflix or whatever I throw down my throat, whatever it is. It ain't never <laughs> oh nothing good for God, me. I, I put stuff in my throat. <laughs> I need help with that. All kind of stuff. <laughs> cookies. Cookies. Cake. Girl cookies. But anyway, I just said, I put stuff in my throat, Rizzo. So I don't I don't like to take it before I go to bed because I like to go to sleep after I get through eating cookies. Mm. And um, it helps me in the morning, like when I just take it in, it's mm -hmm. no, because you know, I normally have a long day. A lot of people say, I know you ain't putting you in that work, you're good fan. <laughs> but I'm just saying, I put in a lot of work during the day. Normally when I get up, mm -hmm. I'm gone all day getting a lot of stuff done. As you should. So it works. It works. It help, it's been helping me with my energy, mm -hmm. which is what so many people don't have who have diets mm -hmm. like mine. Absolutely. And energy. that's, yeah, that's, that's yeah. the point. That's another, that's one of the benefits as well. And again, my main thing is talking is one thing. Um, but to be honest, let's just be real clear. The majority of people's health is terrible. And this is my biggest thing. And the people I'm meeting all over the world, their health is horrible. So we can talk and only talk, but after a certain point, we have to come up with solutions that help the people. So again, this is a solution. You don't have to take it. No one has to. But then again, if you do, um, you will see the benefits. Again, my point is don't say people don't have solutions and that people didn't offer you solutions. That's my only point. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to mainly focus primarily on the fact that I was not targeted by the FDA as of yet. So we already know the CDC. We know the FBI. We got all them other alphabets. We got that. Mm -hmm. But the moment your brother said, I'm going to come up with a solution to help with the health of the people, the FDA all of a sudden, I'm talking about four days ago, and my team hit me and they said, this is what they just sent us. They would like to come and visit our facility to see what it is that we do, even though these are herbs, which by the way, because they don't regulate herbs. This mm -hmm. is, that's all. Herbs from God, no mushrooms, but just herbs. And they said, yeah, we want to come and see what you do. So, uh, and the beauty is because we're legit, everything is clean, no problem. That's perfectly fine. But I'm just letting everyone know, be clear with that when you start really presenting solutions, they will come and knock on your door. Now, that's, that's just the fact. They will let you know that we see you. I believe Dr. Savy was murdered, murdered mm. by the government. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just saying, I know what you're saying. I'm just not sugarcoating it. Absolutely. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I it's a possibility. I believe he has solutions to help people feel better and be better. And Absolutely. that's not what's happening in the intentions of the people in charge of things. Of course. They don't want you to be better. They want you to be sick so they can make their money mm -hmm. and hustle your body while you're sick for years. Mm -hmm. And then you pass on later or they'll get somebody else. We got some more stuff to make them sick. Do you, do you remember when we came on here a couple years ago, four years ago to be exact, when I was telling you about the stab, the shots back yeah. then? Do you know that the recent one, the CV-19 shot, do you know that they have come out and admitted after a study on 99 million people that those shots are now connected to heart conditions, brain conditions, Guillain-Barre syndrome, and a host of other problems? Mm. They have now come out and admitted that, literally, a month ago. Scary. Yeah. But 
and we've you know, talked about it. I trust my instincts. Absolutely. And I see what's happening to people. I've seen people who work out and do everything every day mm -hmm. drop. Mm -hmm. In fact, How much does it happen? in fact, I will go as far as to say this. Of course, when you like 70 years old, those people are the ones dropping the fastest, if you ask me. Of course. But a lot of the people who drop are the people you be like, who the workout dude? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Absolutely. We've seen the Absolutely. athletes yes. in their prime of life drop. Mm -hmm. So this stuff you saying, I, it's, it doesn't shock me because I think like that. Absolutely. But it's, it's good that you're giving people information on things that, I mean, it's the, I call it the, the sheep. The sheep don't know. Mm -hmm. We got to herd them. True. And here's what I love about what I'm already seeing is that I take already a few of these supplements, but mm -hmm. individually. So mm -hmm. the fact that there's several of them that I already take, but it has all these other extras and wow. That I can just. Do take you the read word. that, huh? <laughs> no, I'm saying you read stuff, D. That's good. <laughs> you have to. I have to look. I mean, if somebody's giving me some, you know, something especially. They say, how adjust, can we order from Brother Rizza? Sure mm -hmm. What it has in it, but yeah, it's got several of the ones that I already take. Mm -hmm. So this would before, just make it before, easier, and then you have the additional stuff, and then look at the presentation. Yeah, I mean, the presentation is, is dope. Mm -hmm. I still got my box. I gave this girl some in it. <laughs> I gave her some pills. She needed some pills for something else, though. <laughs> So I just was like, oh, I put it in this box. Because I don't keep the box. I use, mm -hmm. I use the pills, but I don't keep the box. So I gave her some pills for something else. <laughs> oh, and for those. But I told her it was Rizza's box. Oh, I just, no, you can't do that. It was that. easier to <laughs> mail it in that box, Rizza. That's a dope box. I appreciate that. Yeah, presentation is everything. And I, I mean, what someone's asking, how can you order? Mm -hmm. Go to intellectualpower.net. I think they're going to put the link in the chat right now, as a matter of fact. And I want everyone to notice this is black owned, black produced, black harvested. I had to leave the country to get these herbs. Mm. Just so y'all can understand how serious this is. And for those of you who go into that, you know, that talk, that talk of a reason, be careful not to listen. Yeah. I've been doing this for a very long time. I understand the dangers of what I'm getting myself into. I've been doing this for over 20 years of my life. Make it very clear. If this enemy wants to do what they want to do, they'll do it. Mm. But I'm not afraid. Uh, I haven't been afraid, period, which is why I've been doing what it's I've been doing. Mind. That's just mm. what it is. So when you want to really help the people, you're going to do that. And you got to go through the fire. You have to go through it. We done been through it, brother. Everything. Court cases, accusations. You, How old everything. are you again, Rizzo? 34. I just turned 34. Oh March goodness, 17th. Hey, that, doesn't that <laughs> blow your mind? No, I, all the time. I mean, I know the man was young, but gee whiz. My Look, son man, is two years you, younger than him. You know how hard um, it is for somebody... <laughs> 34 <laughs> years old to get my attention. Wait. It just doesn't normally happen. Can I'm I, telling you, can look I bro something? right here. Yeah. When he talk, I'll be like. <laughs> no, at first I used to be like this. Right. But now I'm like, yeah, help so us, yeah. help us brother. I know the people who got good intentions by the people. And Go ahead, D. I saw somebody make, a couple of people earlier, make comments about, oh, sea moss, sea moss. It has sea moss in it. Yes, it does. <laughs> Just, it does have sea moss in it and bladder rack in it and about. Ooh, and that's bladder I mean. rack. Yeah, yeah bladder rack. Is that rack. what be happening to me when I go to bed? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> what? I don't know. No, bladder rack, which is another another herb from the ocean, another moss of the sea, mm -hmm. bladder rack. And it has things like sensitiva, things like vervain, things like patchouli. These mm -hmm. are some herbs that, yeah. you know, turmeric, um, another thing called carpenter's bush. These are herbs that a lot of people don't know unless you are in the Caribbean, unless you're in Jamaica, St. Kitts, St. Lucia. Most people don't know about those kinds of herbs. Mm -hmm. So there are 13 of them, all organic, non-GMO, properly harvested from the islands, even the water that fuels the creating of these herbs is rainwater and well water on the island. So I go there myself. I've picked these herbs myself. I meet with the people there. I have a team there. We have collaborated. This is not, you know, I take this every day. That's another thing too. So I, I can put my name and my reputation behind this because it is a health solution. I'm telling you now, I, I don't think we understand really how bad our health is. That's, that's my, my main point. I don't think we get it. We can keep talking all day and y'all can make jokes and all that. That's cool. That's, that's nice. But in reality, a lot of us are not going to live within the next 10, 20 years, mm. some people, because of the lack of health, uh, lack of preparation and lack of care for our health. It's real simple. 
That's all. So again, if you you have solutions that are offered to you, somebody said, "Wow, it's hundred dollars." Absolutely, absolutely, and I'm not backing off of that one bit. Yep, and look at everything. Well, I just, I just think like when when you say like was like one person might say, "Wow, it's a hundred dollars." Mm -hmm. It might be that might be a lot of money for that person, and if absolutely. It's, if it's a lot of money for you, we totally understand. But I'm saying for the brothers and sisters out there who understand how this thing go, because when you go to a restaurant and eat, mm -hmm. what is the average <laughs> food plus a drink? For a person, mm -hmm. I'm talking about for that one restaurant mm -hmm. visit. Mm -hmm. you, you're gonna spend like that at forty dollars. And what you already are spending if you are taking something. Look at your receipt at Burger King. <laughs> Absolute poison, and they maxing uh. you for it now. I have seen supplements like this. Put it this way, the scientists, and by the way, I need everyone to go to the website and look at the science page, right? So let's, let's make this clear. So we have studies on ingredients on the page. We have the results, people who have been taking it themselves. You can go to the reviews page, look at people to see what they say for themselves. But I wanted to mention this really quick. There are a number of scientists um, who have been looking at this, analyzing this, and a few of them got irritated with me, Corey. Why? They said, you know, if you were white, they would charge double. Oh, you already know this. Oh. They told me straight. They said if you, they said if you, if this was a white product, mm -hmm. they would charge double. They said for the value of what you have in this, they would charge double. I started laughing. And by the way, fifty-one fifty, um, y'all get fifteen percent off. Uh oh, shoot. Really? Fifty-one fifty gets fifteen percent off for the next fifty-one hours and fifty minutes. Oh, wow. Y'all like get 50, 50, 15 percent off. You have to use fifty one fifty at checkout because that's my gift to y'all okay. as a family. But again, it's it's not easy. And again, when people talk about the expenses, black people have jobs because of this. Yes. Lord, black yes, families have jobs because of this. This is another thing I don't get when people you have to understand people who own businesses. They don't talk like that. They understand. Mm -hmm. right. So you, we have employees. We are actually employing people, teenagers, men and women as well. Mm -hmm. So, again, I, I make no apologies for that. But I'll tell you this right now. Take it and see for yourself. No, see, here's they the thing. Like, like they got the Frank Thomas shit. That's what I call it. Herbs are not The Frank cheap. Thomas That's shit at all. Yeah. is not like what you get. The Frank Thomas shit obviously <laughs> has some active ingredients in it because my homeboy just started back working out. And he was taking the Frank Thomas shit. Mm. And his heart damn near bust out his motherfucking chest because yeah, he be was careful. doing it every day. And I was like, dog, them ain't, them ain't, them ain't herbs. <laughs> that's the Frank Thomas shit. Whenever they say, and she'll like it too. You oh, know that's oh, the yeah. bullshit. Because oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all the shit that work like that fuck you up. Be careful. Now, I will mention this just on a health tip and also just to inform everybody so you know what, you, what you're taking. Um, again, these are 13 herbs. Six of these herbs are also aphrodisiacs. You have to explain that oh, to right. people. Oh, that's now why this is in, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so okay. That's why so, Corey what? Did he, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> you said you couldn't take it at night. Yeah. So okay. So again, go to the science page because this was help. You know, as far as compiling mm -hmm. with herbalists, scientists, and medical professionals. So this is another thing. Aphrodisiacs are things that help with the reproductive system. One major thing that we also need to look at is brothers. We have a major issue when it comes to. ED, erectile dysfunction. A lot of women have issues when it comes to reproductive health. It's they come sleepy. It's a, no, that's it's a it's a big big problem. So there are herbs in here that help with that part of the body. I'm not saying you're about to get no Viagra type of situation. That's not what I'm talking about here. But these herbs do help with those different parts of the body. That's real simple. And you should go to the ingredients page. Go to the process page. Go to the whole. Go to the website and look at everything yourself. Again, mm -hmm. I want you to educate yourselves about what is taking place so that you know exactly what you need to protect yourself from because this also helps with the immune system and also so you can prepare yourself for what they are about to come down with next which is also something that I want to talk about. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. That's 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 deep. And, mm -hmm. and, and the what they coming with next part, this is this is what I had a feeling you was going to come with because you always <laughs> come Nostradamus, this whole motherfucking thing these people out here doing. Really? You know what I'm saying? Like, really? yo, I hear the, the, the days of doom are mm -hmm. about to return. Because mm -hmm. uh, I remember last time they caught me way off guard in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. And they shut everything down and told people, you can't work, but you can't have company at your house. You don't make money if you can't have women. Well, we'll talk about that later, but I'm just saying. 
what the hell? Yeah. What no. they finna do, man? All right, first thing I'll mention to everyone, this is something that they kept quiet to the best of their ability. The mainstream media reported on the biggest censorship case that is now taking place. It is called Murthy versus Missouri. I don't know if y'all saw this, hmm. but your brother was at the United States Supreme Court last Monday. So if you remember, they put your brother on a list called the disinformation dozen. We talked about this multiple times. Mm -hmm. So myself, along with presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. are on the same list of 12 people. A court case was brought before a court in Missouri dealing with censorship. The U.S. Supreme Court has now taken up that case. We were at the U.S. Supreme Court last Monday, and we had to finally be, you could say, somewhat acknowledged for the fact that, yes, they censored us. Yes, they violated the First Amendment. Yes, they violated the freedom of speech, all of that. But so far, right before that day, the information dealing with the shots came out. The FDA just admitted that they lied about ivermectin. What's that? Ivermectin is the antiviral drug right, that they were telling people not to take because it was for horses, the antiviral drug that it's for deworming, that you can't take it, but anybody that's taking it, you, you're crazy, you're insane, it's poison. They lied, literally. Mm. This drug is listed on the World Health Organization's list for essential medicines. It won the Nobel Prize in 2015 as an antiviral miracle drug. Again, you're talking about pharmaceutical now, right? Mm -hmm. That helped millions and millions of people. But they lied and said, don't take ivermectin because if they could if they could get rid of any other solution, they could mandate a shot. But since ivermectin was available, they couldn't mandate no shots. So what they do, they start to smear the only pharmaceutical that they had and then said, mandate the shot. I don't know if you all understand how gangster the government is when they did what they did, but they literally lied mm. to everybody. And with that thing that people could have been taking, it would have saved millions of lives. And they experimented on people. Again, they just did a study on 99 million people who took the shot, the CV-19 shot, and they came out with the results. Brain issues, heart issues, myocarditis, pericarditis. They're now calling something- What is pericarditis? Pericarditis is another inflammation of certain parts of the heart. Hardening, oh. hardening right? Mm -hmm. heart, okay. So heart swelling. You also have something called uh, Bell's palsy, which we know about that. You have something called encephalopathy, which is brain swelling. You have another yeah. situation dealing with what they are now calling turbo cancer. <laughs> If y'all notice, a lot of people, which we know cancer is big, but they are, they are looking at the fact that cancer is skyrocketing now, and they are doing tons of autopsies and blood work on people that took the shot, connecting the fact that they knew in the Pfizer documents that it was going to cause blood clots. They knew in the Pfizer documents it was going to cause pericarditis. They saw in the Pfizer documents that it was causing miscarriages in the documents before they released the shot out to the public. All of this was known. My baby dead. No, <laughs> fuck with no but really, it's, it's a serious thing. So... My point, so you know, so everyone can understand this, yes, you were lied to, that's number one. <laughs> you were lied to, that's number two. And number three, maybe if we get out here and warn you the way we do and they continue to attack us, you can't be a con artist if the United States government is calling you out, if the United States government is putting you on hit list, if the FBI is putting you on hit list, the CIA is putting you on hit list. All these organizations, US government organizations are putting you on list and say, don't listen to this Negro. Mm. If the federal government said, don't listen to him, what does that mean? Listen to him. Very simple, <laughs> very simple. So again, brother, my, my deal is if we are risking our lives to tell you exactly what's going on, the least you can do is look into it. That's all. You don't got to believe me, but at least That's look into it. Yeah. So, so, so I'm, I mean, I'm glad you gave that information, but here's something that I will want to hear you speak on. What do you do with your loved ones, friends, brother, sister, mother, whoever, who is about to go do something that we know is detrimental. Should you, should you kidnap them and <laughs> put them somewhere until the heat go away? Do you have any solution for your loved one that you know you want to grab them and be like, no! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like sometimes like you might have a loved one who's married to somebody. Mm -hmm. And that person they're married to said, you can't come in the house until you go, you go do that. Like mm. what would, cause I know what I said, mm. yes. but what would you say? I'm trying to think if it's, is there a solution you could come up with to tell your stupid family member <laughs> that they're not being wise? Absolutely. I, I'll tell you what I have told my family members as a matter of fact. First thing is I told them the truth, right? So here's, here's the first thing. If somebody tells you something, that's one thing, all right? They don't want to listen. Okay, I got it. If they're your child, 
you have a little more authority, you could say. But if they are your peer, if they're your brother, your sister, if they're your parent, your elder, okay. Give them the truth, whether they like it or not, number one. Number two, we have to be the example of what it is that we're talking about. Because sometimes we want to get out here and tell people things and talk all the time, but we don't really live the life that we're trying to tell them to live. All right, we don't do a thing. We, we tell them, man, eat better, but we eating terrible. Mm -hmm. All right, or go exercise and we don't exercise. Again, sometimes people don't hear you in that regard, but I'll tell you what I told my family was, this is what is about to happen. Now you can believe me or you don't have to. This is what's gonna happen. You're gonna end up right here. What's right there? <laughs> <laughs> what, I'm asking. For example, I, I told certain family members, and, and the other thing is I had to give them a lot of proof. That's another thing. Some people need to hear a lot of proof, which is sad because the U.S. government has given you not one damn reason why you should trust them. Mm. Not one. I don't know why I have to convince you about a government that hates you and has proven time and time again that they hate you, but fine. So if you have more knowledge, you should give them all the knowledge that you have. I Outside from that, know. stop being afraid to tell people the damn truth. Just tell them. If you take this, you possibly will end up in the hospital or worse. Simple as that. Simple. I don't care about hurting your feelings. I love you enough to tell you the truth. I don't care about telling you, well, you know what, you reason I don't like that you're hurting my feelings, yeah, I'm a little overweight. No, you're fat. You're going to lessen your livelihood and possibly die sooner if you do not get that off of you. If, if you, if you don't get that off of you. If you take these drugs from this company, you more than likely are going to live less. If you keep doing this, you're more than likely going to cut your life short. This is what it is. I love you enough to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. That's all. I don't care about your feelings. I read, I'm, I'm really tired of being polite, Corey. Now, when you first met me, I was very, very, very polite. Mm -hmm. I still am. I'm not unreasonable. But at the same time, I have been traveling this country and this world, and I have been in conversations. I have witnessed what these evil bastards are doing. They don't give a damn. They don't give a damn. As a matter of fact, they don't care so much. They laugh when people out here thinking that they care. You can't rationalize with evil. Most of y'all who just want to talk all damn day are not prepared for what they're doing. You're not even close to prepared. You can't run a mile. You don't know how to do a pull up. Most of you are not prepared for anything if it comes down right now. And I say this with love to every single person watching and every single person here. If you realize exactly who you're dealing with, you will understand that they sincerely are trying to get rid of you. Well, sincerely. I, I realize we're not prepared. I'm talking about 90% of black people raised in the city. Absolutely. You're not prepared for nothing that can happen at the drop of a dime, which means let me start out with this. Let me just say this. All you city folks are not ready for darkness. I never saw darkness until I was over in the Virgin Islands uh -huh. and sometimes the power go out. Yep. Mm -hmm. City folks are not used to not being able to see their hand mm -hmm. in front of their face. It was a shocking moment to me. I was like, mm -hmm. what the hell? You? The, yes. All the lights and power are out. We couldn't see each yes. other. You recognize <laughs> a couple of people's voice. Yes. But at night, mm -hmm. The darkness that mm -hmm. God makes, <laughs> you don't appreciate the light until you've really been in some darkness. Mm -hmm. People people think I'm talking about sickness and all that. No, I'm talking about the simple darkness of this planet mm -hmm. because you've hid under the enemy's light at night. You don't know what you're really up against. <laughs> Until you really in the darkness of this world, you actually lost. Mm -hmm. You don't have a clue what you could be up against because they give you a light so you could trust them and go to their grocery stores and everything mm -hmm. else and feel like you live it. No? We're, we're comfortable, Corey. You know what I'm saying? We're too, we're too damn comfortable. Again, I, I've said this before. I've been very polite over the years. You know who I follow. Y'all know what I'm about. You understand that all jokes aside, I'm telling you right now, there's a reason why your brother's been hitting weights the way he's been hitting weights and training the way he's been training. There's a reason why your brother has been studying people and meeting with people and looking at ways to prepare and have solutions. There are people right now, brother, who are coming together and collaborating. They have their own communities. They have their own farms. They have their own animals if they want to have milk and meats and things like that and they also have banks and they also have their armories with weapons you have a lot of people right now preparing because the u.s government has lost control they've lied to the people and the people found out about it they are trying to force people to do things that people are not with it no more and other nations are now looking at turning on this nation right now literally you have BRICS, which is brazil russia india china south africa they have also added the united arab emirates they have also added other nations ethiopia etc to 
come up with a new currency that is going to rival the currency that is the dominant dollar, which is the U.S. dollar right now. They are literally coming to take the number one spot. It, it's, it's not a game. It's not a joke. Right. So I know when I'm saying so these things. So what you're saying, Rizzo, for to make it for the people out there who don't get it, mm -hmm. your money ain't going to be shit in a minute. No, really. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> No, really. That your money <laughs> is not going to be worth no, what really. you killed for to get it. Really? Really? That little a bank account that you look at and you smile at, <laughs> it's not going to be worth nothing That's in a minute. It. Can you imagine what happens when people who are used to having money ain't got money? Those really? are the savages. None of this is new to me. Oh, yeah, yeah None I of know. this is new to me, so mm -hmm. I already know that my, with my dad. My dad mm -hmm. was heavy on stuff like this, and this oh, is so pre-internet. You know. This yeah. is pre-internet, so mm -hmm. he used to talk about all some people thought he was just crazy, but he just stuck to himself. But that's why he had what your he had. Money. He was prepared. I'm what, sure. What and he me a lot. Yeah. Your money mm -hmm. and infrastructure. <laughs> oh, <man. Yeah. laughs> that is a fact. It's, you know what I'm saying? The Bane, Bane taught a lesson in that movie. That's right. Yeah. That is a fact, brother. But again, the only person who's gonna be able to survive is the Banes. That's trust me. No, really. <laughs> that's why the man just said he's working out and he hitting the weights because he know. The the only the strong survive is really finna mean something mm -hmm. in this United States of America. Can I can I tell you something, Corey? I, okay, I don't I don't care about impressing nobody. I've never cared yeah. about that. Yeah, I heard but I mean, really though, real. the majority of people on the internet talking right now cannot back up what they say. I'm talking about the majority mm -hmm. on the internet right now. The majority of these cats that mm -hmm. I see, and I'm talking about the ones who be, you know, loud, loud yeah. all day long. Not the, not the ones who, okay, they can back, you can tell they can back up something, right? But you got a chunk of people just talking. And I know you ain't traveled. I know you don't know uh, this enemy and how real they are. Because you're talking so reckless and so ridiculously illogical. You don't make no damn sense. And I'm not pointing at one particular person. I'm saying us, we talk too damn much. Mm -hmm. I got tired of just talking, genuinely. I did, I said, I, no, I'm not interested in that because there are people who don't care about your words no more. Mm -hmm. At a certain point, many of y'all know this because you live in the real world. When you get into a situation where there's life or death, there is no talking. There is no negotiating. Mm -hmm. There is no logic. There is no, hold on, time out, pause. That's not how this goes. <laughs> it is go time, that's it. So when I'm doing, again, what I'm doing, it is I'm training for the inevitable. Hello. Yes. It is about to go down. Y'all, you've been hearing it for so long and we've been so comfortable. So we think, oh, it ain't never going to happen. No, it is absolutely happening. Mm -hmm. That is a fact. Yeah. Yes, get your gold if you can. I know a lot of us live in the hood. Okay, get with your family. You may not like some of them, but get with the ones you do like. And y'all start coming up with plans and prep things. Make sure you know how to grow your own food. Make sure you have things yeah. to protect yourself. And all this basic stuff. You I have just to. bought two solar panels. Big yeah, no, I really. I operate, operate my generator. How are you going to operate generator with no gas and electricity? So I got two big solar panels you roll out. They, they again, yeah, I, again, it's, like it's that, a, right? no, really. That's, that's a fact. Invest it's in just, that and no bags. I don't want no expensive bags. Absolutely. And, and, and comments aside, pull up, shit and in my pull car up to right any now. event. I do. Pull up to any event that I put on. We will be in New York, April 27th and 28th. We will mm -hmm. be in Philadelphia, April 7th. We will be in Miami, it looks like May 4th. We they can are find this information on the website. Rezaislam.com. Yeah. Anybody who comments, I want you to show up in person, not just to support the event and to get the education, mm -hmm. but I want you to really understand and I want you to hear it in real life, just like y'all pull up and hear Corey in real life. It's different in person. See, that's what oh, people yeah. don't get. Because uh, in yeah. that thing is one thing. Yeah. But when you're on stage or when you're in front of the people, it's a whole other world. You have to understand and get your mind right. Because all this talking mm -hmm. and rah-rah laughing, yeah, it, it gets old. Yeah. It's old mm -hmm. and it's tired. So we can we can knock it off. And I know it's Ramadan. Well, it's at night right now, but I'm very serious. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm so serious. Well, I know what you're I'm saying, so serious. brother, because let me tell you something. The people that are not prepared to speak to the people honestly mm -hmm. don't even like speaking to the people in real life. Come on. Here at the where the internet is, you can talk and sound like it. That's a fact. Mm. You can you can actually <laughs> fool people into thinking you really that that guy or that That's girl. A That's a fact. But in real life, when people have found a way to come see you, you can't bullshit them. Mm -hmm. They see it, they smell it. That's why. That's what's happening with a lot of speakers. Absolutely. 
comedians, mm-hmm. they really are worried about the people really coming to see them. They want internet money. Yes. Because yes. this is easy. Yes, that is a fact. This is easy, man. Mm-hmm. Sitting up here, I mean, it's 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 not. There's no deception going on here. I, I I'm not perfect, but I'm here to tell you. I look in the mirror and I don't see no fuck boy. I don't see no <laughs> motherfucker that's always bullshitting the people. And when people come see me in person, I feel good when the real boys and girls of the streets are saying, "All right, all right, yeah, <laughs> right." Because you know they come to judge. Absolutely, they gotta see if you're legit. You got some fans yes. that come see you, but some yeah. people are coming to judge. And if you're yes. not who you say you are, you're gonna be found out. Listen, that what's the one guy they don't have on the internet no more? Light skinned guy from overseas. He talk a lot of real stuff. Where well, they just grabbed him. Mm. I don't know why I can't think of his name. So he used to couple. fight uh, MMA. Oh, an MMA fighter. I know. I know you talk. Who? No, no, that's, no, I know he's no, talking about he's, he's a Rogan. fighter. It's the other brother. He was all over the internet at one time, but they've gotten him off the internet. Who? What? Is it Andrew Tate? Not Andrew, Andrew Tate, Tate, right? No. Yeah, I think that's him. Andrew Tate, yeah. Yeah, they just uh, arrested him again. Yeah. Yeah. They, listen. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, if you helping yeah, the people, man, yeah. they after you. Oh, anyway. They. You see, I say they mm-hmm. because we know who they are. Mm. Absolutely. And that's why I worry about people who say them out loud. Because those are the ones that they really come after. I call them they. The people know who they are. Mm-hmm. They don't like people who offset what they're trying to do. Because they want you to get off working nine hours, go to McDonald's, eat, <laughs> watch Netflix, and go to sleep. Because that's the recipe for disaster. No, that's that's a fact. And somebody yeah. just brought up, somebody <laughs> mentioned, they said, uh, Reza's... You said my tablets are, my capsules are on Amazon. No, Mm-mm. we're not on Amazon. We're not in any store. It's only at intellectualpower.net. If I were y'all, I would not go to Amazon to try to get this. And if you see it on there, Mm-mm. if you take whatever they have on there, something may happen to you. Ooh. This is 100% see? in-house. Black owned, black produced, black shipped, everything that we do. But we are not on any other platform. So if y'all seen that, somebody said twenty nine ninety nine. If you think that you're going to get some high quality herbs for 30 bucks, and you think that's not going to be spliced with something, go ahead and try it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that is not ours. I'm just letting mm-hmm. you, whoever put that up there, be careful. That is not ours. Mm-hmm. Just want to mention that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. People who can afford to um, walk this way, we, I encourage you to walk this way. If you can afford to walk this way, walk this way. Support the brother because I ain't seen the brother come up short on nothing he talking about. And I watch. I, I, man, look, there are people who I had around me. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? I always give them that credit. You got me for a little while. <laughs> but I, I can't wait to the day where I'll be like, aha, you a fuck boy. You lied about who you are. I'm telling you, I ain't seen my brother come with nothing like that, man. I'm proud of you, young bro. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. Has been how many years? I think since the first wow. 5150, I've been on. Yeah, enough. Yeah, it I don't know, but enough. it's enough. It's definitely been enough. I've watched you grow, and I've watched you um, do things that you know what I'm saying are respectable. That's why. You be like, Cole, what up? I'm like, you know, you ain't got to say nothing, but yeah. let me know uh-huh. when. Uh-huh. He did. Because, like, that. what we do on this show normally, we talk crazy. But <laughs> we're not dealing with idiots. Right. There's some people who really want us to just talk crazy. And I'm going to give him a little bit of that in a minute because I'm going to ask you a question that I can't wait for you to answer. Absolutely. Um, but sometimes we have to give the people information. And you know what I'm saying? I've, I've done shows like this. I give people information and. You know what I'm saying? It's like that's not what people remember. As a comedian, mm. when you have a bad day on stage, mm-hmm. that's what most of your um, the people that work with you remember. Yeah. I remember that one time. time. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So yeah, absolutely. it's like in this world, man, you just got to realize people who want to see the bad, they're part of the process too. Because mm-hmm. I still win them over. Mm-hmm. In the long run, not right away, but in the long run, you ain't going to be able to say nothing, but he wasn't who I thought he was. I thought he was this bad guy. Come on, brother. <laughs> uh, he, but, but he's not. Mm-hmm. It, I, in fact, I have to take my hat off to him. I've heard Still. that speech so many times. I'm like, you know, okay, I get it because I speak the way I speak. I use profanity. 
I call mm. people what I think they are. He gives, you know what I'm he saying? gives his opinion, and people take that too seriously. The word like, bitch is not a bad word to me. The word bitch is an adjective that, in my opinion, is quite necessary. It but was the word scallywag you, you wanted to use. Oh, yeah, scallywag. Right. I remember you came up. I think scallywag. scallywag is worse than bitch. <laughs> it's got too many letters. That means somebody took the time to really make you feel and look bad. <laughs> I yes. say broad when I want to say that B. I say that broad, mm. dumb broad. Or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think it makes a difference in the perception of people. People That's perceive true. you uh, differently when you um, use certain words. I'm I'm wise enough to know mm -hmm. that. So whatever come with it, I will take it. I know that you know what I'm saying. To to walk the path that is going to make you be able to look in the mirror if you're a righteous person is always a rough path. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the easy shit. Come on, man. Can I say something on a whole, uh, like a light note? Go mm -hmm. ahead. You got a light note in you? You know what? Wow. <laughs> you are mean. Anyway, Go listen. Ahead, we had been doing, we haven't done it again, but we should do a dance off again. Just have fun. We had fun mm. one time. I don't know if you caught it. Mm. I, think, I think both. I think both Craig and I've Corey do that pulled something. Times. They got hurt, they hurt themselves. But anyway, oh. <laughs> we would love to do it again. But be but prepare ahead of time and then have Rizza join us because you know Rizza, he's, Let me tell you something, Rizza. I don't dance. Think Rizza, that's a fact. I, I, I don't think that's Rizza wants to dance because <laughs> yeah, it's like he kills it every you time think I, I ain't thought of that when I oh, saw okay because like oh, most I guys who it. are tall can't really move. He sure can. Let's not. What <laughs> day I saw him, I said, that's fact. "What the hell is that? Please don't sleep. Is he moving like that? Wow." <laughs> no, I, I no, I do this. I definitely yeah, do. I'm sure dancing. Yes, yeah, sure since I was five, does. I love dancing. I will mention though because I I don't dance for this enemy. People get it twisted because of you know course. how to dance and they think okay, so you know how to dance. It's like okay, I can dance and you can run up and I can break your jaw and then go back to dancing. So Boom, don't, right. it's like See, just it like <laughs> stop playing games seriously. But I love dancing. That doesn't mean anything other than the fact that that's, that's right. one way we love to have fun. There you um, go. But you know, it just depends on when and where. You don't want to take away from the seriousness and you don't want people to minimize the seriousness the message you comes oh. first. you don't want to minimize that but, but there but, is a time but, place. but you're also human absolutely and you have your things too and absolutely. i know i recognize I love having and I fun. Like, That's oh fact. yeah heck yeah my yeah. brother rizza mm -hmm. has gotten a little older so <laughs> we all have <laughs> well do you elder? i can still move those sure, weeds sure. <laughs> but i let's hey but you don't want to let's not go there on on who's healthier <laughs> oh, <laughs> please don't core i know I'm, oh, I'm three years older than corey but come on let's not even go there kid <laughs> Then you can't run up the stairs and run down. Corey, please, man, <laughs> I will take you out so tough. Yeah, Bless right, his heart. Yeah. That is funny. They they ask, uh, it's 90 capsules, y'all, 90 for those asking. 90 capsules of one month supply, vegetable capsules, all vegan. What they add up to for $100 per capsule? If you break it down per capsule? Yeah. Numerically, yeah, it's just over a dollar. Just over a dollar. I would say just, mm -hmm. just under so a dollar per capsule. $3 yeah. a day. And again, the you know, I want you all to go go to the website, look at all the research on it, you know, so that you can know exactly what mm -hmm. you're looking at. Be mindful to be educated about certain things that you take, so you can you know, you want to know the kind of value you're receiving. But um, yeah, I think it was, you know, that that uh, that case that I was fighting for ten years. God talk dispense. about it. That's when all the yeah. motherfuckers. Riz, let me tell you something. Ever since I started having you around me, motherfuckers got stories about who you are. I be laughing my ass off. Yeah, it's funny to me too. Them motherfuckers, oh, they be like, oh, him. <laughs> but you know they do that about me too. You know that, right? Yeah, all day long. <laughs> all day long. <laughs> him. Yes. Give me one thing. You don't have to you know, say the name, but just give me one or give them an example of something that you heard about me. That you a spy. It, damn. That's the easy, okay. Quick that's, thing that, that is, that that is, the, that thing. is yeah. the most consistent one I heard because at one time there was somebody on the internet saying that and you know like this internet has its pluses and it has its takeaways. Absolutely. Like, sometimes when somebody say something it stick. Mm -hmm. so Absolutely. that's the main one. They was like, oh he a spy. Okay, first off. I don't off, think the word was spy though. What was that? What's I was going to say that's like a 1980 what's the, term. What's the new word for the, for the, for the mole in there or whatever? Uh, they'll say uh, uh, an agent. Yeah. A provocateur, informant. Okay. These are all that's the, the word. Informant. That's what they call you. You know, you know, I handle idiots who say things like that, and I'm going to call you an idiot because I feel very bad for you. And if you have a problem with what I'm saying, pull up to any one of the locations that you will see publicly, and I mean that. Pull up sincerely in person. No talking. You can get off the internet. Come and pull up in person. All love, but if it's not love, that's fine. We can handle that too. Um, how am I being paid? How much am I being? Hold on, paid? wait. Stop right there and say, Rizzo is an agent. Facts. Who said that? 
Go up to him. George Houston. Because he's George answering. Houston. Here's my question. Internet motherfucker. <laughs> Here's my question. Let me, let me, yeah, go ahead. Here's I'll my question. You, I'll let you handle it. Because this is how you handle people who just talk after they get done trolling. What agency do I work for? How yeah. much am I getting paid? When did I get hired? What is my assignment? Um, who do I refer to or who do I like go to, to and like report to? Again, though, because people don't know. When the government actually comes for you, like they have come for me three times, four times, five times, pardon me, at this point. When you wear Negroes on Internet talk, this is how I know they ain't came for you. Because when they do, they let you know we don't like you. It's very simple. Mm. They put you on lists. They start talking to people to get to separate you away from people. And then the last point after they do that, then they try to go after your career. They try to damage reputation. They put allegations on you. They do all this to destroy your character. Boom, 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 boom. Then the last point that they can't control you is they take your life. That's how it goes every single time. So again, after y'all get done talking and running your damn mouth on the internet, I put the challenge out to anybody. Pull up in person, and I'm saying every one of you in person so that we can talk in person. You will receive the mic and you will have your chance to prove what you say. After you get done, you will embarrass yourself. Uh, I will still give you a hug. I will still show you brotherly love, but I'm tired of being polite. You got to you know, get Grizzle, back to the real world. You, the reason I brought up that dude, Andrew Tate, mm. because, you know, it was people just like that saying that about him. And it was this yeah, one dude who used to always talk shit about him. Comes with he the territory. looked him up and went to his house. Oh yeah. Now yeah. you know what the first thing he did when he got to the dude's house? And this was so funny to me, I was <laughs> laughing. He went to his garbage can, yes. opened it up full yes. of alcohol Come on. and drug paraphernalia. <laughs> Come on, brother. He said, look at this fucking degenerate. This is the, this is the main can't. guy talking shit. Look at this fucking guy. He knocked <laughs> on the dude's door. His face when he opened the door was priceless. Come on, brother. That boy was there. <gasps> a fat, garbage-ass <laughs> motherfucker. It did. He called That's the cops. That's a troll. The dude Tate was so clever, mm -hmm. he said, I'm here to talk to him about Jehovah. <laughs> oh, that was because intelligent. Because you, yep. you could go to somebody's house yes, you can. twice. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Before it's a charge. You yes. can go to their house twice as long as you're here to talk about Jehovah. That's, yeah, to speak about religion. So, dude, they had nothing. <laughs> but when he met him Face to face, it was a fucking fat slob garbage motherfucker. Oh mm. man, and you that's know, who all, if you could see these people that talk crazy, <laughs> you would be like, I can't believe I was arguing yeah, with them. No, I'm, yeah. I've seen mm -hmm. a couple of them who had, the, you know, who put their face on the internet, and I just feel bad for them because I'm thinking, you know, again, if you make an accusation about somebody, mm. eventually it'll stick. Something will come out that looks like, yeah, you know what, that does look like it's true. Actually, mm. that's a fact. No, I mean nothing, y'all saying. Yeah, no, it's been ten years. Is that exotic goddess, that's right. I troll. feel exactly. I feel so yeah. bad for people who do that, brother, because I'm thinking, damn, mm. how do you attack a brother who put his life on the line to help you? And I'm talking about y'all don't even realize the stuff your brother has been mm -hmm. through, standing on integrity, going against his government. I'm talking about literally going against him. And some of y'all was like, well, how does he know so much about agents? Because I read. Is it illegal to read? Mm -hmm. See, I feel bad for y'all again. Also, mm -hmm. because they visit your brother. I talked to them. What do you think about a natural hater? Is there such a thing? Absolutely. Envy and jealousy is a very real thing. Mm -hmm. Envy and do you think is somebody can be born a hater? Outside of the nature of the original Caucasian, eh, it depends. Wow, <laughs> it, that's it amazing that you said that. So you say one race is born hater? Outside of there, there is a part of the, the original Caucasian's nature that basically everything that God says to do, they did the opposite. And that's just mm. his story. See, I'm uh, glad you bagged up what you said, because that's absolutely. why I gave you a chance to say that. Mm. Absolutely. Like you have evidence to absolutely. prove that there's some hate yes. there for the yes. most part. Yes, that is a fact. Even them, once they start to educate themselves, a lot of them try to get away from what their ancestors did because they're so disgusted by what they've done. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of people say, let's just live now. Let's just look at the future. Why do we have to go back in the past? Because they don't want to look at A wise man I know told me something that I didn't agree with when he first said it, mm -hmm. but I couldn't argue after he explained it. Dealing with haters. Mm -hmm. He said they need physical um, consequences for what they do 
and even kids can get it. And I was like, <laughs> oh, wow. what do you mean even kids can get it? <laughs> this is my wise brother, uh. and he goes by the name of Willie D. Uh, okay. He okay. said even kids can get it. Because he said one day, oh, damn. I don't, okay, look, he, he was talking about this dude he knew mm. where, you know, he had a little nephew, mm. seven, eight years old who was getting beat up by bullies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know at that age when you go to school, absolutely, there are violent yes. young people. Do we not in disagreement with that, right? True, right. yes. Eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds, 10-year-olds who are bullies violent. Mm -hmm. His, this person had a, a nephew that was getting beat up at school. Mm. So long story short, he had some of the little cousins, the little <laughs> homies, go up to the school and beat the other kid, mm. eight, nine, ten years old, unconscious. Mm. Mm. Huh? Street justice. Never had a problem out of them again. Mm. That happens. Can, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I mention? Never <laughs> had a problem out of them again. Mm. So what do you think about that? Mm. I'll mention this. Um, this world has become very soft. So it's made people comfortable with talking real reckless, sideways, negative, evil, wicked, lie, slander, all that on the internet. I think it's Mike Tyson who said it, that social media or the internet made it comfortable for people to talk mess yeah. and not get punched in the face for it. Mm, yeah, that's when I grew up in Compton, easy, yeah. and I grew up in Compton, could care less about what anybody has to say about that. When you did certain things, there were certain consequences. When you disrespected your mama, for us, we had something called torture. She would give us a book. We had to put a book in both hands, open our hands all the way, and put one leg up on the wall and have our arms extended all the way like this. Torture. She had something that she called the chair. We'd have to sit on the wall, put our back up on the wall like this. If we disrespected her, if we did something bad at school, you name it. If somebody tried to fight us, we had to fight them. My brother made me fight people who tried to fight me when I was a child. That's how it went. If they disrespect the mama, we got to go beat them up. That's how we were taught. Now, that's how we were taught. Now, again, depending on what the circumstance was, that's true. Yeah. you know, maybe you can try to negotiate, et cetera. But there were things that that's how we that's what gave us our character. All right. That's that's just that's what it was. Nowadays, no discipline, uh, no discipline but mm -hmm. you can talk about anybody in any kind of way. Um, your emotions and your feelings are more important. Oh, I don't want to hurt his feelings. I don't want to hurt her feelings. Some of these children are going to be gone. They're going to not live long because parents are not telling them the truth and giving them the discipline that they need. Mm -hmm. The world is going to give them the reality that they should have got at home. Yes, right. And a lot of people, they just, they just, again, I'm, see, for example, my nieces and nephews, I tell them straight. I tell them straight. Y'all don't know about this side of reason, but I, I literally tell them, either you shut the hell up uh, with what you're doing or you're going to get handled over here. Mm -hmm. Because if I don't tell you this now, you're going to get into a world that does not give a damn. And well, you will face consequences. Mm. This is how we have to be honest with them. Yeah, have have you, have since, you, since you've Absolutely. been a grown right. man, mm -hmm. have you ever had to hit a woman? Oh, no. No? N do you see how big my hands are, Corey? Look. You know what? <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, fuck with me. No, no you can't. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no, listen. No, I know. So, so let me ask you: Do you think there's a circumstance mm -hmm. where you would have no choice but to hit a woman? I've hit a woman since I've been grown, um, mm -hmm. and I didn't regret it because of what happened to me. Okay, I'll mention it this way. Um, because of the manipulation, first of all, we have to always understand the system of white supremacy, this government, how they manipulate us, lack of education, drugs, damaged homes, trauma, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, lack of discipline, you name it. This world is producing women that are hyper-masculine, producing men that are hyper-feminine. Again, I'm going to say this one more time. This world is producing women that are hyper-masculine, meaning they are so mannish, and males that are so hyper Feminine, which means they are very, very, very soft. The common board uh, turned off. Um, it's it's become a, it's gotten to a point to where now you have some women that are stepping to men talking about 
Yeah, I'm, I put my hands on you to get, you know, bucking up in men's faces. Right. Okay. And I'm talking about aggressively. I'm not talking about in response like he did something. I'm talking about it's a lot of women that I've seen. They're the instigators. They are the instigators. And this is, and we know this. I mean, we grew up in the hood in the 90s and some of y'all in the 80s. And it, there was always that one who was like that. And nine times out of ten, she liked you. All right. See, that's how it was back then. And 90s or 80s, if a girl was hitting you when you y'all were younger, she probably liked you. Now, it's a mm. little different. You got some bully type women okay and again i'm not gonna make any excuses mm -hmm. but the fact is don't put your hands on a man don't put your hands on a woman because now two people with no discipline are going to produce chaos yeah. you can't tell a man don't put your hands on a woman if a woman put her hands on him when he didn't put his hands on her and therefore there's a cause effect there's a there's a action a reaction you can't negotiate now it just is what it is so i'm not condoning it i'm explaining it this is a very real situation. Me on, for example, if a woman tried to put her hands on me, I'm the type of brother who runs you from a woman right. because you did the Jonathan Majors. Absolutely. Yep. Probably faster. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And why? Because I know what I'm capable of. Because you're a good dude. Absolutely. But I also know what I'm physically capable of. There you go. Right. I have been training in martial arts since I was seven years old. I love fighting this is something y'all don't know about your brother mm -hmm. i am very disciplined because i have to be but mm -hmm. i love fighting if you knew how much i love fighting you would stay the hell away from me with how you know you'd be spitting the nonsense and certain well, people can, you, can i love aren't it aren't you because my son's a black belt but mm -hmm. you can't if you can it's it's considered deadly. it's it's a if it's assault does, it's, it's past assault right if he it's hurts what? somebody it's it's beyond assault when you have a certain ranking, ranking. a belt yeah. ranking right your hands have to be registered that's not fair yeah about professional no, boxers martial arts it. your no, hands i'm not have saying to, you can't yeah no self-defense yes but other yeah. than that no so no i i run i can definitely can i give you this quick story of what happened to me because you and d's opinion is important to me in okay. this, in this, of course, you more than D is just, I don't oh. want to feel left out. But, <laughs> I appreciate you, D. No, I'm saying, like, yo, one day I was with a knucklehead that mm -hmm. I made him a, I, I, I smashed. Okay. We, we followed me so far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I had stopped smashing her. Mm -hmm. But she was on the road with me. Mm -hmm. She was an employee of mine. Mm hmm. So, long story short. <laughs> That's already, uh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> right, long story short. Her frustration of me not messing with her no more, mm. I had uh, a new pupil in my hotel room. <laughs> oh my God. So this person, being the slick person she is, went to the front desk, mm -hmm. said she was Mrs. Holcomb. <gasps> wow. Okay. Found a way to get a key. Wow. Whoa. Now listen, wow. I always lock the door at hotels because I done seen everything happen. Mm -hmm. mm. I didn't have people walk in on me because they make mistakes with the key. So yeah. I always had a door locked. Mm -hmm. So just imagine being in bed with somebody new. You're wow. trying to impress. Um, coitus. Impress. Probably, probably. Yeah. What's, what's oh, that word involve you Involve yourself in coitus. That was coitus. The other word. That was the word we, oh, we talked about. <laughs> that was the word we adopted. Yeah, yeah. Rizzo, was, Rizzo was like, <laughs> boy, <yeah. laughs> So I was coitusing the bitch, right? And No, just let me get to you all. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. All of a sudden, the door, <laughs> Oh, Ooh. wow. But the chain was on there. Oh. And I was like, wow. what the fuck? fuck is that? Wow. Open the door, Corey. I know you in there with that bitch. And I was like, oh my God. So when I opened the door, uh -oh. <laughs> she tried to rush in the room to start some shit. Mm. And I was like, hey. <laughs> Wow. And I ain't gonna lie, I hit her. Mm. It hit her. I didn't try to hit her. It was all reaction. So basically, mm. you're trying to block, like when she but it when hit. she tried to block mm. me out and come in. I was like, Ugh. "Oh my god!" And that made her act right for whatever reason. She just started <laughs> act right. So was I out of <laughs> pocket for the mm. when I, she tried to push herself in my room? I mm. think considering the situation, this that is it was not a, an exaggerated story. This is just how it happened. Right. I went downstairs to the 
front desk cocaine, be good. I, I said, respect, brother, for real. I went downstairs to the front desk, and I said, did you give that lady a key to my room? The lady downstairs started crying. She was like, that's not your wife. <laughs> she was oh like, please God. don't help me lose, I mean, lose her job, because she realized wow. she got hoodwinked. Yes. That ooh, that was that's um, a major security breach because anybody yeah. could have come up to your yeah, it could have been a gun. That's, it could have been anything. No, that's it been okay. Yeah. That's what happened. Y'all be me. careful with yeah. that. And I was like, I was wow. like, oh my god, wow. I didn't, I didn't hit this girl, and I, and I didn't never want to hit nobody because I don't. I, I think people who hit the weak are cowards. Absolutely. Mm. Like if you're a man and you hit on uh, a woman, mm -hmm. a kid you don't have to pay for. Um, <laughs> I think the drone one was up. All these kind of people. I just couldn't believe my door boom right. like that. She it opened a, the door. It was a reaction. And, and I, yeah, I pulled yeah. that thing back because I was going to be like, bitch, what's wrong with you? But she tried to. She was like, Chow. I was like, yeah. Mm. That bitch did this. That's I all like, I think. That was the best I've seen her act in a while. But <laughs> I'm just saying, what is your opinion of me doing mm -hmm. that? Because I've lived with that. Because I don't hit people. No, Absolutely. But well. there's a reaction inside of us when somebody... Yeah, Gets aggressive out of line. when you when, yeah. when movements like that happen. Okay, so I, I understand that reactions do happen. That is a fact. I'll mention that initially, the going past the limit of just being an employee and getting yourself involved physically, that's when you get into trouble because now more emotions and everything get entangled in that. That's just a fact. Now again, mm -hmm. I know we're natural men. You're natural women. Okay, I understand certain things happen, but once you get involved physically, okay, now you get into a different realm. And then that's when people start to have different opinions. They have more possession type of energy. They have more of this, okay, we, what are we? Is this a, okay, whatever, okay, it happens. And then if they're no longer fitting the description and no longer fit the role that you want them to be in, okay, then you move on. Things happen, I get that. So I would just say that's more so where things went wrong and more than likely wouldn't have led to that. But since it did lead to that, I understand reactions do happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and there wasn't no fist. Now, I thought you were gonna say you done Punch, know, yeah, kick, no. need, and okay, I don't but think I understand. Zimmy just walk up and cold cock. Yeah, that's 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 the weak. Yeah. That's savage as hell. Mm -hmm. um, but no, so I understand. I mean, but no, I'm saying like things have happened but, where you be like, oh, but it's not in me to cold cock the weak. Of course, but of I'm course. saying like, I, I'll put it like this: at that moment, I really didn't feel bad because I couldn't believe she tried me like that. Well, you know what? I, let me let me flip it real quick for those who may be thinking that somebody's co-signing abuse. Let's make this very clear. Somebody lies, one, says that they are your spouse, your husband or wife, mm. two. These are two things. So these are two charges that, that a, ju a judge will say, wait a minute, did you say you were his yes. wife? That lady okay, downstairs that, was crying. Absolutely. Because she thought she was going to get fired and they thought the hotel was going to be in trouble and everything. Right. right. So you have these two things. One, they lied about who they were. Two, they got access to your room. Okay, that already is crazy because it could have weapons you name it whatever three they come up to the room in an aggressive manner and they try to kick in the door okay so now when a, once a person becomes aggressive okay it's kind of hard for me not to mm. defend myself mm -hmm. it's very difficult but you again what you did reaction i get it but i'm saying what if she were a man Ooh. this is the difference and this is where the hypocrisy is about to get exposed for a second what if she were a he and he did the same thing that she did, what would all of you say? Is it abuse now? Mm. Or is it Corey defending himself now? This is my point. And this is why, one, brothers and sisters, we have to get control of our damn emotions. Because you. your emotions will lead you to doing something physically that you more than likely cannot take back. This is why people end up getting shot on the street. This is why mm. people end up getting stabbed. People start going into all these crazy behaviors because we cannot control our damn emotions. There's yeah. a protection yeah. mode that yeah. your body go into yes. once somebody has broken an entry on you. Yes. And the fact that she went that far for that. What was she trying But D, uh, D, check this out. You and Riza need to hear this part because this is also important. And scary. D, I really want you to answer this first. Mm -hmm. So once I went back up to the room mm -hmm. and all the nonsense was gone, the girl that I, what was that word you used? Sequoisering. No, coitus. Coitus. Oh coitus. <laughs> Sexual intercourse, coitus. Yes, the coitus, <laughs> the coitus chick, she wasn't going at first. She was just letting me touch on the goods. Hmm. After... She saw that action. Hmm. I feel like she was excited and oh then she let me koi koi her all the way. What the hell was that about? 
Why why was she excited after I sequoyed somebody or whatever that word is? Emotional creatures, uh, uh, brother. Hold on, I want D to hear answer it first because no, D, thing. I'm sure you've wanted to sleep with a man after he uh, beat somebody up in front Absolutely of you or coyed him or something. No. That's no. not true, D. Women like um Oh, when, you're speaking from experience? You say women like. How do you know? My homeboy beat up this dude at the gas oh, station okay. when he was on a date with this girl yeah. and he said after he beat it's up the dude at the gas station old girl was like let's just go to the that's room that's obvious that's different that's like he protected her so she got turned on probably oh wow he's like man so is that why and the girl got more freaky after I the can protection think of. mode that's the only in? thing i can think of that she thought oh He's protecting our situation here. Oh. Well, she was laughing. She was like, you stupid here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, people. Rizzo, what do you think? There's, there's, a, a, there's a lot of issues that people have, brother. Yeah. There I'm are a lot of issues, you. a lot of mental issues that people have. Somebody said you already paid. So. Oh, oh, oh yes. Yeah, <laughs> There's a lot of issues that people have, you know, and it's it's something that we have to uh -huh. always put in context and be honest about. Because, again, people try to protect somebody when they're doing wrong. Right. You have people mm. are selective now. Mm. Yeah. You protect certain people when they're doing wrong. Uh, but then when they're also doing another thing, you say, well, no, I don't know about that. It, it just is very hypocritical. I don't condone, nor do I appreciate a woman putting her hands on a man. I don't condone, nor do I appreciate a man putting his hands on a woman. It's a very sad circumstance. It is horrible. It leads to a lot of issues that we have in our community. All jokes aside, y'all know what I'm talking about. A lot of our parents dealt with it. Grandparents dealt with it. We've seen this too much too often. Mm -hmm. So if we don't be honest about it, we're going to continue perpetuating this nonsense. So no, if you run up on a man, and I'm saying this now because naturally there are instincts that we have. Please stop aggressing on men. Please stop aggressing on women. Can we all keep our damn hands to ourselves? If we cannot take control of our emotions, then exit. Yes. Go I take a walk. Go out the room. Calm yourself down because you cannot come at a man for protecting himself. And it's sad, but that's where the world is now. Mm -hmm. Y'all act like people have sense. Right. And most of these people don't have it. They don't. Well, I will give the girl who um who 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 tried that bogus enter my room thing credit. She didn't never do nothing like try to bring, well, if she would have called the cops, it would have been bad for her. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, girl, that lady downstairs is ready to call you and put you out. Yes. Yeah, that lady was like, yeah. I am going to ask her to leave the hotel. Please don't. And I just was like, look, don't worry about it. I got it. But also, uh, in a sense, mm -hmm. didn't you learn a lesson as well that if somebody- what well, if somebody comes to the door like that or tried to open and did all that, so you already knew she did something to get a key, I mean, at that point, I wouldn't even have opened it for her. Interesting question, D. I get that, what you're saying, but there's a part of manhood that can't be explained. I see. Because I was like, why when would you open the door? When the action is really going down, some guys get fired up at the action and you want to handle it at that mm -hmm. moment can you see and i ain't, I, I didn't want to get fired up and said, you i didn't need to go away i didn't think she would be bold enough to try to just push past me and come in the room i didn't she think that i ain't gonna lie to get a key so well, see that know. see so as a okay so as a woman as a man we do have differences right when it comes to logic logical thinking versus animalistic reaction if a man feels so like he's he in danger, he it. we right. respond physically nine mm. times out of ten. If a woman feels like she's in danger, she can respond physically, but before that, she either verbally. verbally, right? She verbal, she goes into emotions and all that, or if it's real danger, then she has to respond physically. But nine times out of ten, a man responds physically. It's just our nature and how we do things. Mm. No, it's not logical. No, it's not. But depending on the situation, it is logical. If it's life or death, yes. Right. You do not sit there and try to negotiate with somebody running at you with a knife. That's true. You are yeah. not, hey, man, mm -hmm. relax, brother. No, see, I'm not going to be, some of y'all may think, <laughs> some of y'all may think Reese is going to try to talk, talk him down. <laughs> no, I'm going to kick the air out of your chest, <laughs> take the knife away from you, smack you back awake, lift you up and say, brother, you all right? Ah. <laughs> You kind of you kind of got beside yourself there for a minute. Um, your knife is over there. We got it. You get what I'm saying? That would turn but, me on more than somebody shooting him or stabbing him back. That really would. Okay, so that would. DJ, you see what I'm saying? This is what happened to me with the coitus chick. She did what DJ said right there. Except what I did turned on. I'd be like, look, he didn't take another gun or a knife and react back. He did it like that. What? 
I mean, that come on, we, most most of us who are That's from it. the hood, we understand where this leads to. Mm -hmm. Everybody nowadays has got everybody and their mama got a gun for no reason. I'm not talking about the people who have either been attacked, they've had to fight a lot of times, they are in danger on a constant basis. I'm talking about people. Mm -hmm. People are pulling out a gun for nothing, brother. There are people right now pulling out guns because they got cut in line. Yeah, see, that's like, like they they're yeah. losing an argument, and mm -hmm. so they pull out a. I I've seen a dude pull out a gun on me when I was fifteen, because his current girlfriend was my ex girlfriend. Oh, see, that's and he put out a gun on me in front of my cousin and two of my friends, mm. and I was so confused by that. You're like, I'm not even with her. No. What are you talking? Well, about? That, yeah, that's one. I was like, <laughs> that's not my okay. That that was one. But my second thought was, did you pull out a gun mm -hmm. on me? Because you got something going on in your head. I don't even know what it is. I never did nothing you to you. You should have asked them. He'd have been like, I, you got big hands. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and I laugh. People say Cap is hilarious as if people don't have guns and as if we're not crazy as hell. Okay, so please stop playing games. I don't need to no, lie guns, to you about that. No, guns are something that... But, oh, go ahead. Yeah. He, he, didn't pull, he didn't shoot me, right? Obviously. But he said, what you got to say now? All right. Oh, he was fronting. Uh, oh, all day. Lord. So I, I called his bluff. Very simple. It's not about to be no, oh, pop, pop. No, literally, I said, pull it. And I got in my fighting stance and I said, pull it. Because I was so pissed at the fact that you will pull out a gun on a good brother. I didn't do nothing to you. I don't even know you. And you pull out a gun on me for no reason. Okay, if this is how it's going to go, I want you to understand something. Either we both going down today or you going down today. Because mm -hmm. he wasn't too weak about where you are. Very simple. So I said, pull it. And my cousin Ariza calmed down. I said, I'm not, are you, I was so, I was so confused. I'm like, this is what y'all do? You just pull out, you don't know how to fight. You don't know how to use your hands. You some damn cowards. We was 15. You failed that chance. And I was training back then. I'm like, Howard, this is what y'all do. All right. So, the best way, but yeah. so I told him pull it about six times. He didn't pull it. Okay, fine. He, knew he didn't have it in him. Yeah, but, but still, I don't understand. I don't get it. And this is how a lot of our people are. You got 12 year olds right now with full weapons, mm -hmm. full guns, Chicago, LA, different parts of Compton. Watch, it's, this is a real thing. It gives them that false courage. Come on, man. No, really, these brothers need yeah. discipline, and so do these sisters. I'm watching mm -hmm. them pull out. You, it's videos all over the internet of oh, just people pulling out wild. knives, yeah. guns. For getting cut off. Seriously, people got too losing a conversation. Mad. Getting matter of fact, a little young boy. What, it was My a, Starbucks too hot, bitch. <laughs> no, no, for real. People oh, getting yeah. shot over them damn Popeye chicken sandwiches. I think it was an eight-year-old who killed his mama two months ago because she didn't get him his, his oh, PS5. Yep. I mm -hmm. mean, just just the insanity is Dang, it's just is out there. Thick. Well, so yeah. again, start training and get some discipline. Put the weapons down. And you know, of course, if that's what you want to do as a last resort, life or death. Okay, that's your choice. But please start training and get some discipline. That's that's my point. That's what's up, man. It's like, you know, Rizzo, we, we love when you come because your perspective is, in my opinion, needed. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when people only hear it from me, you know what I'm saying, they might grow weary of that or begin mm -hmm. to challenge that more. So mm -hmm. when we have um, other brothers come on the show, because I only fuck with a few, mm -hmm. um, I, it's, really, it's really a light. In this ship, we sell it. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, I mean, I'm saying I I, I, I appreciate you. I I don't I don't know. You 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 got time to kick it with us a little longer? I got a couple more minutes. Couple okay. Minutes. Well, I want to hear I want to hear these updates. Uh -oh. These yeah, some news, news talk about bullshit. Oh, got some good info. D got some okay. good information, y'all. Well, you know, I, <laughs> uh, I don't even want to. I don't even want to wait. I don't know about wasting time, but I know people wanted to bring up the whole Diddy thing. Hmm. Uh, Almost, I'm almost, I'm already like how you say, uh, just done. You're with tired. It I was gonna yeah, say, yeah, I'm kind of already tired yeah. of it a bit, but I know they want to understand. I don't know, shall we or no? Should we? More is coming, not just for I Diddy. know one day people are gonna say, Corey always said it was motherfucking sure, Magnolia yep. in that yeah. whole community, but we'll see. Go that's, ahead. I'll well, wait that, it yeah, out. but that's I'll one thing out. that's different. I we can wait on that though, but that's different speaking about somebody's hidden sexuality but i'm talking about all the other stuff that he apparently why they raided his home mm -hmm. you know with the other allegations anyway it's just going to end up getting worse as they are already as this is already unfolding just by the second day mm -hmm. of the raid that it's already getting worse as we see so i guess we can give it some more time to as they say build up but uh yeah can so, i can i mention something on sure. that no one is talking about his children no one's talking about his children. Yeah. I mean, While all this stuff is happening, 
again, mm-hmm. so I'll just mention this up front. If anyone, if, if he and or anyone else is guilty of what they are accused of, they right. should face the consequences. Real simple. Um, I don't care whether if you're black, white, or anyone in between. Yes. If you are guilty of these things, mm-hmm. okay, you should face the consequences. Very simple. Yep. Now, let's look at the other side while people are applauding, applauding the downfall. You should be careful. You should be very careful when applauding when somebody is falling because you can fall too. Mm. See, this is my only thing. If there are children involved, all these other people involved, I'm, I'm looking at the level of weaponry that they're using Ooh, to wow. go into his properties. Yeah, yeah. And I was trying to think here, wow, damn, they sure are using a lot of weapons to go into this man's property, but there are over 75,000 black women still missing. Sex trafficking is a multi-billion dollar business all throughout America. You are not even remotely concerned about people being sex trafficked. This government does not give a damn about nobody being sex trafficked. This, this is my only confusion. Mm-hmm. So aside from Diddy, if he's guilty of whatever he's guilty of, he should face the consequences. Mm-hmm. Outside of that, please let's stop, cut the cap on this one. Mm. They don't give a damn about the children who are currently being pushed into the sex trafficking rings, about uh, the women who are currently being pushed to the sex trafficking rings, nor the little boys. This government knows exactly where they're going. Mm. They know who is sex trafficking them. They know how much money is being made. They know. So stop pretending like all of a sudden, oh, it's P. Diddy. No, I personally believe that they are using him as the fall person to cover up for the real ringmasters who are around this entire thing, which are not no small names. Mm -hmm. So, again, if he's guilty, he should face the consequences sincerely. And that is okay for us to say that we can call our people to accountability and have our people take responsibility. That is fine. And I say this with all love for our people and all love for any good work that he has done. So let's not erase the good that he has done as well. But if there is a guilty side of this, face the consequences. But again, let's let's stop pretending as if this government all of a sudden gives a damn about anybody being sex trafficked because they know exactly who is being sex trafficked. Hence why Amber Alerts exist. Hence why now they have the Ebony Alert that exists. I was out in Texas and the damn Ebony or Amber Alert at the time was going off so much I, I, I said, I don't know how many, how many children have gone missing in the last hour since I landed. Mm. Y'all know exactly where these people are going. You got low jack on these cars. Mm-hmm. You have satellites who can track phones in those cars with those license plates. Stop playing. Stop playing. The sex trafficking industry contributes multi-billions of dollars to the United States economic base. Stop playing. Mm. Please stop. But I will say this. Uh-oh. I've never seen nobody, baby mama, get killed mysteriously and the dude wasn't arrested. I've mm. never seen that. They come get you on GP. Yeah, and we never know what this is going <laughs> to unfold, too. You ain't even mm. they, Case like this, you don't know what it's going to unfold. Evidence. They, there's a lot of, yeah, yeah. and Your there's a lot of information. Murked, they come mm-hmm. get you. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll just say again, you know, I don't, I don't speak on it unless I have the facts on it. And even then, it, it depends. But there is so right. much information right. coming out right now that I, I just recommend I just people. Wait. Yeah, exactly. Just please wait until the facts just, come out. But I'm noticing what, they what they're doing. The laundry? Yeah, they went in this house. Well, they they, sh- they went to his underground tunnels in his home. They went and they did all this stuff now. And again, my biggest thing is, wow, man. So this whole time, y'all had the capability, the money, the weapons, the staff to go do this. Why haven't y'all done this to the majority of Hollywood? You know that the majority of these damn nannies, these au pairs, and these these butlers are domestic house slaves. Many of them who have been groomed since childhood, who y'all went over to Africa and got them as children, and you promised them a good life, and all you did was you brought them over here, you said you don't have to go nowhere, you don't have to do anything, you can just live here, you eat for free, this is all you need to do. You need to cook, you need to clean. This is a very real situation. A large percentage of domestic slaves are currently in Hollywood, in Beverly Hills, in these homes, in Bel Air, you name it. Mm. They know, brother. Mm. So it's the, stop playing. The people who talk so quick are those who barely have any actual facts. Mm-hmm. And they want to get views and likes. And you want to talk and talk and talk. You don't give a damn about the lives of these people. Matter of fact, majority of you don't even give a damn about the lives of your own nieces and nephews who you know getting tossed around. Mm. And you don't do nothing about it. Please stop. You just just, just the stop. The women I hire for that get to go home after I I'm done. I cannot. I can't. <laughs> Brother, anyway, listen. <laughs> if anything, can I... Know I'm, the only thing that I can say, like I wanted to bring up on the Diddy thing, that because everything else has been. They say you look like Yoko Ono. D. Go ahead, Diddy. They always do. They always do. Um, oh, is on. that is that they did find out that Diddy last or within the, this past week has sold off 
his remaining mm. Revolt TV shares. And now sources are saying that it is still black owned, but that the new black owner wants to stay anonymous. So I've been on that something. was interesting. I got to tell y'all something because yeah. I, I know this really needs to be said. Sometimes when a site start getting a lot of hits, mm -hmm. it has to prepare for the hits where it takes a little while for it to be back up. When we first started, we used to do something with this one guy. And after the 5150 show started talking about the site, the site got more hits than it normally gets. So be patient if you're having problems getting on um, the site with RZA. It reboots itself mm -hmm. after a while. Mm -hmm. So just hang in there, okay? Yeah. Because I just felt go. like that needed to be said. Now, All right. So let's move on to some other news. <laughs> Um, Tyson, Mike Tyson, he, uh, we're speaking about a new business, um, the release of a product by Mike Tyson. It's his new plant-based wellness company called Tyson 2.0. Um, he is releasing his new cannabis edible gummies. I sent you pictures, Nayel. Um, but here's the thing. They're called Mike Bites. They are shaped like an ear with the bite indentation taken out on the top, um, and they'll roll out next month with a major promotional blitz that starts right now. Um, <laughs> they are oh highly sought after gummies, no joke. While some dispensaries are already selling them, a reminder for those that may not be aware of what this comes from or what this means, the ear with the bite. Holy some youngsters, shit. I don't know. But back in July 28, 1997, between the fight between Tyson and Evander Holyfield, where Mike gnawed off a chunk of Evander's ear and then spit it out. If those that don't know, Mike was uh, Mike was disqualified, giving Evander Holyfield the the uh, heavyweight win that year um, at that fight. Also, right, so everybody's looking forward to these. They actually say that they're, you know, that they're doing pretty well already. But mm -hmm. anyway, so but I, the joke. It's I don't know. It's, oh, it's kind of, I know. I was like this. Man. Oh no. Anyway, and then the, <laughs> to end it, it's just interesting timing as well because coming up July twentieth. Mike and Jake Paul the, are still scheduled to fight that ex exhibition fight. Um, it will be held at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. That holds 80,000 people, one. And it'll be the first very exclusive Netflix-only fight. That is a so, big money grab for Netflix. For, yeah. There so yeah, both for, guys. For, are for, for all those guys, I hope Mike Tyson don't get hurt because he is still at an age where – I feel like really getting into a real fight is dangerous. Mm -hmm. When you're over 50, getting into a physical altercation is dangerous. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and th this is going to be a very interesting situation that they're trying to put the image of Jake Paul, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, he's gotten some fights, okay, cool, um, against Mike Tyson. This is not Iron Mike from the 80s or the 90s. So this is one thing I, I, I really encourage people to stop doing. This is how I know with the internet is different, okay? It's mm. like people saying, comparing streams to albums. Listen, <laughs> please stop. Iron Mike, if he were in his prime at the same age as Jake Paul, if Mike Tyson were fighting Jake Paul at the same age that Jake is right now in his, let's say, late 20s, early 30s, there is no question. Mm -hmm. But this is a man who was in, I believe Mike is in his mid-50s, is it? Yeah. I mid think late 50s. later, I think. No. Okay, so again, let's just be re realistic. I personally, of course, would love to see a knockout by Mike Tyson. That's just me. I love Mike Tyson so let's see. As, as a fighter. Mm -hmm. um, I know they keep saying an exhibition match. I just really hope that's not in the contract entirely. Um, I personally see it as a more of a money grab, more of a business thing. They're both going to get paid a lot of money. At the end of the day, that's really what it is at this point. Uh, but if Mike really is going to knock him out, I, I just I pray for that. That's yeah, just my I personal like bias. But it'll be yeah. interesting. I'm definitely going to watch. That's for sure. Absolutely. All right. Um, Freak Nick documentary. Everybody was waiting on this. I don't know if you guys remember this. A couple of years ago, everybody was talking about the Freak Nick, the documentary that's called The Wildest Party Never Told. It is now finally streaming on Hulu as of March 21st, so the other day. Now, remember, this, um, this was all set up to be released a few years ago, but somehow some folks um, that attended some of the freak nicks back in the day, as you know, used to happen every year during spring break. Um, back then, they were teens, very young adults, and some people were very concerned about what may be shown on there because now they're grown and some are some in prominent positions like government teachers etc and 
majority are parents now themselves. Anyway, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they held it back and a legal pushback, but now it is available. So no word as to what happened. Um, so the untold story about the iconic spring break event was uh, executive or is executive produced by Luke Campbell of Two Live Crew, Jermaine Dupree, and Twenty One Savage is directed by Frank Williams. So it is available to stream right now on Hulu. Hmm. Isn't that interesting? So I don't know what happened. I don't know if the folks they got paid or they shut them up. I don't know what happened. Right, but yeah, remember absolutely. that. Yes. Remember that. Freak Nick is is interesting, and I'm also I would like to call people's attention. To I something. was not there. It started in '83. I was not. I was like 15 years old. <laughs> Should <laughs> be put that on record. <laughs> um, Never I, went to one. I, I do call people's attention to something called Woodstock that mm -hmm. people should look up and understand that if you think Freak Nick was the worst. Woodstock was worse than Freak Nick. Oh, um, but let's just make it very clear again. Yeah, this kind of stuff was going on. This is back then, what was it, VHS tapes and the big mm -hmm. camcorders like this. Uh -huh. And yeah, so that kind of stuff did take place. But again, look up Woodstock because I see what they're trying to do. It's more of a, it's like a revisionist history type deal. Mm -hmm. It's like people trying to say, well, the worst were these black folk. This is something that's a, a very big trend that's going on. Where right. they're trying to make black people look like the worst of the worst in humanity, period. Like they did the R. Kelly instead of the Epstein. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. When it's like, okay, evil is evil, wrong is wrong, but let's be clear, who it's got like more wanna, points on the board? They Absolutely. see you like that. Absolutely. So it's just like, let's just be clear, look up Woodstock while they're also pushing Free Nick and making a whole lot of money. Ooh. Off of talking about, hey, look what these black folks did back then. You have never been interested in promoting the history of black people. <laughs> ever, unless it benefits you financially and it makes us look a certain way. Yeah, it happened. But again, make sure y'all look up would, Woodstock as well. I would tell the people, don't be afraid to own who you were. A lot of people are yeah, afraid to see who they were yes. because they're still that now. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Well. Mm -hmm. See, if you look at who you, mm. man, when I think about the things I did, man, burnt twice, I'm talking about I burnt I burnt my girl twice. Oh my goodness. When I was a young man. What? She didn't leave me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why she didn't leave? Because I burned that ass up oh, otherwise. Here we go. I ain't got no shame on who I was. Because who I was made it where I am who I am today. The mistakes taught me lessons that I'm like, I don't never want to be in this position again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like everybody who is worried about what people are going to see, why? Are you still that way? Mm. Are you are you still that way? Is that the problem? Because man, I look back, man, I just don't have no shame at my age at the things I did when I was younger because I really learned from them. True. I got better. True, I hear that. I, I got better, that. man. I feel good about who I am today, because I, I I get a lot of people saying this, that, and the other. Listen, man, I'm by myself 80% of the time. 80% of the time, I'm alone, because I know me. <laughs> That's my therapy. Mm. Like, hey, just get away from everybody, mm -hmm. Corey, because if you don't, you know what I'm saying, they'll be able to say you did this. That's what mm. I figured out. A lot of people be like, Man, all these people, I'm like, well, what are you doing around all those people? <laughs> because, That's wisdom. Mm -hmm. If you know what's happening, why are you there? So mm -hmm. all you people who was worried about the Freak Nick and, and coming out who you was, I mean, I was going to go to Freak yeah. Nick one year. I just didn't go because I met some girl. Oh, so you and never went to you never My homeboys was like, Corey, we ready to drive. I was like, I'm going to stay here with Kim. And <laughs> I didn't say a Kim last saved thing. you from getting on camera. Though. That's right, Kim. And that <laughs> night, I was liking Kim. We did it nine times in a night. That was when I was at my prime. <laughs> Me and Kim did it nine times in a night. I'm not exaggerating. I was proud of myself, especially after eight. I was like, I can do it again. But I was happy to be with Kim. He had his own freak name. She used to let me drive her car. Oh, my God. Not the car. Right. It Back good. then, a girl letting you drive the car, that was big. I it was, was huge. I know. I was about 20, yeah. 24, 25. Hmm. Man, I was on top of the world. Well, I was on top of Kim, too. But. <laughs> 24, 25. Well, I don't know. Was that, well, I, may, I might have been younger. 23. I, think I don't so. know. Well, I was to, young. And to put the, the, the number perspective on it for people so they know. 
Freaknik had, I think, upwards of 250,000 people. That was at the height, that, yeah. roughly nine, 1999. Mm -hmm. Woodstock had nearly double that, roughly 500,000, half a million. Mm -hmm. So again, mm -hmm. for people who want to go look at that, you should you should know. But yeah, Why that's, Marshall Gore. Ooh, that's interesting. Right. I know it's getting late, but I, I want to give the word of the week. Try to read it, D. You just said your eyes weren't good. <laughs> yeah, let's just not go there, buddy. Uh, is absquatulate. Abs That's when a woman squeezes something out of her body? I knew it. Well, they squatch and then... Absquatulate. And, and there's a out. reason why I'm using that word this week. It means to leave abruptly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what they do. But anyway, absquatulate. I absquuted all the time. I, after, I was just well, gonna say that. Yeah. We all know, so, but I got a new word. Bitch, I'm about to squatulate. You don't get the fuck out of my face. Exactly. There you go. That That's is perfect, correct. Perfect, correct. Use <laughs> that of is it. correct. Yeah. Right. <laughs> squatulate. Yeah. I'm squatulate. Mm -hmm. That's a good one, D. That's the best. A B S Q U A T U L A T E. For those of us. Anyway, there you go. Good one. Mm -hmm. Coitus and obsquatulate. You and can't tell me the 5150 show don't save y'all. Yep, coitus and then I'm squatulate. <laughs> Let's coitus and I'm, then I'm going to squatulate. Perfect. Anyway, there you that go. That girl thinking you're taking her to get some candy. What? We going to squatulate. That is, yeah, that's it right there. there. Leave go. abruptly. Uh -huh. Yeah. Did somebody yeah. spell it right Get out of Dodge. Right yeah, that's true. Yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. That's a hard word to spell. Hold on. Go back down a little bit. Absquatulate. Mm -hmm. That's spell. Hold on, right there. Is that spell hey, right? Hey, our Sterling. Mm -hmm. That's hilarious. Wow. A B S Q U A T U L A T E. Yeah. Wow. Squatulate. That's that's not easy. I'm gonna put no, that on a t-shirt. That's a good. <laughs> Squatulate, bitch. <laughs> put that on a shirt. Leave abruptly. Leave now. Get right. it. That's great. Anyway. There you go. After, mm. after, 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 oh my gosh. So these are for me. Thank you. That is yours. Yes. Thank Yay. you for thank you thank you for mine. I'm I'm getting low, brother. I'm a, oh. I'm, a, I'm a, <laughs> Like I say, I'm going to videotape myself going on the site and getting some because that go. makes other people do things. Mm. Very you know true. What I'm so, Rizza, mm. you already Appreciate know what's brother. up. By the way, mm -hmm. I'm on my way out there, Albany, New York, at the little um, um, uh, uh, club um, on, on Thursday, the Funny Bone Funny on Bone. Thursday. And then we're going to ride up the road down there to Hartford, Connecticut, Friday and Saturday. You better get your tickets, boy. Get them tickets, boy. Let me tell you something, boy. I am the man. No <laughs> mild shit over here. <laughs> Come to the show. People don't know how hood Hartford is. Hartford hood as fuck. I see y'all wild boys up in there, man. RZA, mm -hmm. talk to, say, get, get, yell out exactly. your address before SPP. we get out of here. <laughs> My address. The, <laughs> no, where they can get the pills. Your, your web address, where they can get the pills. Get Absolutely. Them again. Perfect. Everyone go to intellectualpower.net. I'm sorry, what you saying? Mm -hmm. No, go ahead. Intellectualpower.net. Again, it is a solution. Very simple, y'all. You don't have to take it. Um, I encourage you to. If not that, get something that helps you with your health overall. That is my ultimate goal right now, which is to help people with their health. And it's not just herbs, exercise, proper diet. It's a lot of things. We have to really take control of our health. That's at this point. The link is in the chat. Remember, 5150 is getting a 15% discount for the next 51 hours and 50 minutes. If you go to click the website there and then you type in 5150 at checkout, you get 15% off. Again, I appreciate y'all, my brother, um, sincerely, but I, I got tired, like I said, of just talking. And the other thing is, I, I wanted to just collaborate with somebody who had their own thing already. That's what I wanted to do. But after doing so much research <laughs> behind so many people's products. You had to absquatulate. Absolutely. <laughs> and do your own thing. And go do your own thing. Yep. Y'all be surprised how, how many people, like when you say people, when you say con artists, when you say grifters, when you say scammers. Mm. You would be shocked, and this is coming from a researcher. This is why the government does not like me. When your research is on point, they don't like you. It doesn't mean it's perfect all the time, but I'm sincerely telling you, you might want to look at the ingredients on what it is that you are taking. Look at the information about what it is that you're putting in your body when you're buying stuff from people. Mine too. I want you. I want you to go to the website and look at everything. I want you to find a problem. Even how it's I manufactured. I want you to. Yeah, Even how it's manufactured, manufactured, put together. This is glass, no plastic. 
We went that far with it mm. because I do not want to damage the planet. Again, do something when it comes to researching what you put in your body. That's all I'm talking about because there's a lot of people out here, and I'm not going to say no names because it's not about that. Be mindful that a lot of people are really messing with y'all when it comes to your health. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm telling you, I wanted to collaborate. I wanted to just go ahead and do something with somebody else who already has some stuff going, and I have not been able to find that person. And because I wasn't able to find that person, I said, well, I'll be damned. I'm not, I'm not going to just sit here and say, well, I can't provide a solution to the people knowing their health is messed up. Yeah. No, I yeah. decided to go ahead, collaborate with some scientists, doctors, medical professionals, herbalists, and create our own solution again, which helps with the people. You don't need people. nobody to collaborate with you, bro. Let me tell yes, you sir. something. What's going to happen, it's going to naturally parlay into something big. Yes, sir. People will come to you that are worthy in your eyes for you to deal with. But don't look for them because you're going you're gonna to get where you're going, man. There's enough people who know what's up, man. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. well, I appreciate y'all, yeah. my brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My sister appreciates yeah. you as well. Oh, we yes. finna wrap it up, RZA. Mm -hmm. um, Cause you know what I'm saying, my man Craig Fax ain't here, and we ain't rapping. Shout so, out to my brother. Yeah, we got, we got, we got some things we got to get up out of here and do. I want to. Do you got another word you want to no, say? No. <laughs> Look, I just want to tell the people, man. Um, listen, man, this thing ain't nothing perfect over here, but goddamn it, you dig what I'm saying? We are here to help. Do what we can. Anytime I get out of pocket where well, I'm doing too much, I'll catch myself. Don't worry about it. I'll <laughs> catch myself. But we are here to help. And the haters gonna hate. The haters gonna hate. I, I found that out from somebody who is um, a true friend of mine. And she goes by the name of Rita G. Because one day I had my daughter with me and Rita G was around me. Um, my daughter said some things to her mother and her mother has dragged Rita G name through the mud and I called Miss Rita G. I was like, I'm so sorry you caught up in the middle of this. But she is That's not awful. phased by it at all. She said, listen, haters gonna hate. They gonna say things. They don't even know you. Mm -hmm. But they gonna talk about you like they know you. So I get inspired by people who find a way to just hold fast. Just be like... I need to practice that. Absolutely. I really need oh. to practice that, brother. Mm -hmm. I, it's it's right, hard right. for me. Yeah. I'm like, what did you say? Right. Fuck you. I hope <laughs> your auntie died a car accident in front of your grandma. I, I know. I'm like. Oh, That's yeah. what I do naturally. You know what I'm saying? I understand. But some of the real people of the world, like I say, you check. What, what you check, D? The you, pedigree. You check the pedigree of yes. some people. Mm -hmm. They really ain't out here fucking with nobody, but they name get dragged through the mud. And I'm talking about by women who don't know them in no way. And they still just be like, it's yeah. nothing. Yeah, I'm like, it wow. Be. That's, let it roll over you. That's I, I strength. Haven't, I, haven't that's met, strength. Uh, mm -hmm. I have not met one hater who pulled up in person. Any of the exactly. so-called haters who talk on the yeah. internet, I've never, and I'm not saying on some aggressive less fight type stuff. Right. I literally have never met one of these people on the internet who talk so much, you know, negative. And then walk mm -hmm. up to you and say, what's up? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, one of them did, but they didn't know that I knew. They didn't know that I saw them talking about me negatively. Mm -hmm. They didn't know. And, and what did I do? Shook their hands, smiled and all that because, you know, po poor, poor fella. Uh, exactly. You know, that is my you, you, you have to choose when to flex your authority, brother. Mm -hmm. Some people are not worth it. Matter yeah, of fact, it's, most it's are people, not worth it. It's people I know who are dragging people name through the mud and they got plastic surgery on their face. <laughs> and any yeah. black woman who get plastic surgery on your face, it's just my opinion, something wrong with you. So mm -hmm. what I'm saying to that is I'm going to try to be a better person and try to take it like, eh, because people, yeah. let me tell you something, people yeah. who they whole life been hated on, because let me tell you something, mm. women who are attractive, they whole life they get hated on. Mm. If you're an attractive woman, you're going to get hated on, not only by the men who can't get you, the women who look at you and know they can't get a turn until you leave. Because mm. that's what it's really about. Attractive women mm. control a room. And the other women who are not attractive can't do nothing until the attractive girl leaves. And this is just not sad enough. You know what I'm saying? So whenever you see attractive women who are moral and good spirits, it's really our job to protect them. Because the plastic surgery faces bitches, 
the bitches who motherfucking asking for federal um, lawyers and Tasha K looking bitches, they can't stand attractive women, so they shit on them and they ain't even done nothing to them. So I'm just putting that out there because I'm Corey Holcomb and I still gotta say my shit. But anyway, go Mac, what up baby? We finna get up out of here too. I this is the 5150 show. Hold on, go Mac might have something to say. What you got to say? You bullshit, because I saw that come up here. God oh, damn! Wow. <laughs> oh, they're so sweet. See, they look Macca, out around here. Macca, I mean, uh, uh, go Mac wanted me some halal chicken. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and Mac up there eat it, man, because he be boxing with that Friday night fight shit. <laughs> so I can't do nothing about it and shit, because I can't let no little red nigga whoop my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't about to come up out of that back room like... Uh, what's his name, dude, when his arm was off? Oh, oh. Nail. <laughs> Nail came out of here. I'm okay. <laughs> Your arm is off. <laughs> anyway, oh. man, look, we got to get ready to ride, man. I'm 5150, dog. See y'all next week. Thanks for fucking with us. Reasonslam.com, y'all.